Hello and welcome to another live stream. Well, I like to do these live streams uh, sometimes on Saturdays for a little wake and bake and react ache uh, to Jehovah's Witness uh, propaganda. And in this live stream, we're going to be reacting to the wife of Lot. Uh, Jehovah's Witness drama that came out in 2017 that it's kind of like a two-part miniseries, like Korean-inspired sitcom-inspired miniseries that is supposed to be like, I think it's like the funniest thing that has come out uh, from, from Jehovah's Witness stuff. But, you know, because it, it's like the one thing that they've tried to like make a comedy uh, out of. And it's it's pretty cringe. I, I, I've seen it before. Uh, but I don't think I've watched it like all the way through. I've just seen like uh, people like react to it because it's a very famous drama and they say a lot of things out loud. So besides uh, making fun of this drama and debunking this drama, we are also going to uh, look into how this drama uh, shows uh, how Jehovah's Witnesses use indoctrination, how indoctrination works in this religion and all of that stuff. While, of course, we smoke up uh thanks so much uh the frog mood who's so excited king of the dots i haven't seen lots of wives in my house since my high school reunion bet she is still uptight she's very uptight and thanks so much queen of flatulence dopeness i get a callip stream on my birthday it's your birthday please everybody everybody um say happy birthday to queen of flatulence <laughs> We have Mexican uh, uh, happy birthday. So you know, this is a this is a very important birthday. It's very important to say happy birthday. All right. Now that we can say we ha we have to say happy birthday. Thank you so much. This is my this is my Caleb T-shirt that I made myself uh, because I I couldn't, I couldn't find it. I couldn't find it anywhere. Anyway, let's jump to the wife of Lot already. Uh, happy, happy birthday! Happy birthday, of course. Happy birthday! This is, this is. The, the, in fact, this whole uh, uh, remember the wife of Lot uh, is is dedicated to Queen of Flatulence because it, it's her birthday. Uh, happy birthday! All right, let's start with remember the wife of Lot. I'm gonna share my screen because I can't wait to start because even though I didn't re forget to bring in my customary Carta Blanca beer, I did forget to roll one joint and that's kind of what I'm doing. So I'm gonna I'm gonna share this screen and we're gonna watch it directly from JW.org. Now, Jehovah's Witness propaganda is always like a little bit too slow for my taste. So I always put it like at 1.2x now that it, you know they've 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 added the, like the speed thingy device. So we're gonna watch it uh, in um, in and just a little bit faster, just in case you know it's a little bit weird. Also, that's helped that helps with copyright, even though I've never like really had issues with like copyright. Shoot, Jake. No one can slay for two masters. For either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will stick to the one and despise the other. You cannot slay for God and for witches. Excuse me, I have to talk to other clients as well. Okay. I thought I could do both. But tonight, I had to make a choice. What phone does she have? Does she have like, it looks like a Samsung A70, right? I mean, this is this is kind of like recent, like from, from 2017. Anyway, whatever. How's it going, everyone? Are you guys doing okay? Oh, yes, good. When is Marty going to be here? He was supposed to show me some other offerings in this building. Yes, Marty will be here very soon, sir. Um, would you care for another glass of wine? Uh, no, I don't have much time. I can't stay long. I have another important meeting tonight. <gasps> the memorial. Everyone had tried to warn me. They told me to remember. To remember the wife of Lot. Remember the wife of law. What's up with this like stylized stuff? You can do it. Okay, keep practicing, okay? okay. So she just she just went to play like a little bit of Mozart and then she's like Anyway, you can do it. Goodbye. That's that. That's how. That's how my lessons went. That's how. That's why I never learned anything. 
Oh, Tina, you already started rice. Mm -hmm, I'm almost done. Good, good. We are going to make a grandma's special vegetable okay. patty today. Wanna help me? Sure. Hey, girls, I'm home. Hey! hey. Wow, you guys are busy. <laughs> hey, Gloria, you went on service day. How did it go? Oh, yes, we had a really nice time. I had some nice calls over on the east side of town. Oh, really? Yeah. Hey, you know, um, Joe, the yeah. contractor I've been doing accounts for all these years? Uh huh. Well, I got a chance to witness to him today, and he agreed to start a study. Wow, Dad, that's awesome. Oh, that's uh, great. I need to point out that this is, uh, whenever they, they portray like this kind of like uh, dramatizations, when things are okay, is when uh, the Jehovah's Witness family is at their most spiritual, at their most committed to the cult. And it's almost a caricature because they like, in order for them to show you how happy you could be while being committed to the cult, you have to have like this fake uh, reactions that, or this fake conversations that doesn't really happen in Jehovah's Witness land. You know, nobody is like excited because they're like, oh, you know, I got the chance to like witness somebody today. And guess what? Seems to be a study. And then somebody, and then the, the wife is like, oh yeah, I also had a chance to witness some people. And I'm also in the, in the process of converting them. That, that never happens. And if that happens, it never happens with like this level of like joy, because at the end of the day, it's just you're going to go to like read a book and like study a book, a very boring book with the person who you're indoctrinated. Best case scenario it's not like a, a specifically, um, a, I don't know, like exciting activity. Yeah, I hope it works out. Yeah, I do, too. Ooh, what's that? Ooh, hey, you can't wait a little bit. <laughs> I don't know what you're making, but I'm sure it's really good. Well, if you let us finish making it. Uh, okay, all right, all right. I give up, I give up. I'm going to work on the budget. And obviously, uh, the Jehovah's Witnesses uh, family always have a very archetypical uh, gender normative uh, uh, roles to fulfill in the family. Since this guy it has like three women in the house, then the women are the ones who are, are the ones who are washing the dishes and cooking the meal. He can't even, you know, oh, why, why is he checking he, that he's not he doesn't belong in the kitchen? He needs to do work on the budget like a man should. Okay, so just call me when it's ready, all right? Okay, sure. Oh, Tina, by the way, is your talk ready? The circuit of will be there, so you want it to be perfect. It will be, but that's not till next week anyway. How about your schoolwork? Already done. Hmm. I love like this, this casual uh, conversation of, hey, hey, you know, it's important to impress the circuit overseer, you know, the representative of Watchtower. It's very important. So if you have a speech, you know, you want to you wanna impress him. But now we get like the introduction to the um, uh, worldly person who's not in the religion and who obviously has anger problems because uh, everybody who's not in the religion has anger issues. The funny music. Hey, Dad. There's some strange man walking into our building. Strange man? There's some strange man walking into our, our building. You mean the building that you share with, like, other 200 people? You know every single person that those 200 people know? Like, I don't... This is so stupid. Like if the guy is like so loud and so worldly that that he he causes like a ruckus every, every everywhere he goes. It's okay. I'll, let me check. It's it's okay. It's okay. I know it's not a Jehovah's Witness, but I'll check. It's okay. It's Joe. Joe, why why is he coming here? I didn't tell you. Yeah, he's gonna pick up his books for the study. All right. And obviously, the man can just invite. Uh, another person into his house without checking with his wife because you know who cares what she thinks her job is to have everything clean for when he wants to invite people over joe thanks for coming over man yeah come on in All right yeah. oh if you don't mind can you take off your shoes you could just put it on the rack over here serious yeah this is where we put all our shoes all right yeah. this is an important part of the drama they're like hey no we we like like cultural thanks. stuff my family we we respect people's cultures, but this is the only thing that that they respect.
Look at how standoffish the family is when they when they get introduced to this worldly person. Why? Because he's not a Jehovah's Witness. He is from the outside. So people have to, you know, be careful around. Him. And oh, before you do so, can you grab the door? Yeah. Cozy, isn't it? How do you get anything done in here, man? Yeah, I mean, it's really convenient. I mean, everything's at arm's reach. It works. It's good. Okay, so what are we gonna study or what? Um, we can if you like, but today I was just planning on giving you the book I was talking to you about, and also I wanted to give you your own copy of the Bible so you could look up the scriptures. So this is for you. Coming from my background as an accountant, it's organized so nicely. It explains everything in such logical order. And it also helps us to see how the Bible applies to everyday topics. Believe me, as an accountant, this biblical uh, cult actually makes a lot of sense. As an accountant, you know, I because I know about maths. So uh, this religion, from maths perspective, makes a lot of sense. Like what? Being a diligent worker, you're going to see the Bible... It says that working with your hands, that's good work too. Just as long as you're honest. I'm telling you, man, nobody's honest today, man. Not, not even my suppliers. If I had it my way, I'd take those guys and I'd give them what they deserve. Okay, all right. Joe, look, I understand it's not easy making a living. No, it's not. But you know, many people deal with upsetting situations by applying scriptural principles. The Bible shows us how we could find true peace and, and also to get our emotions under control. I can't help it, man. I was born angry. Joe, you're going to learn that the Bible tells us that we have to make our minds over. We have to put on the new personality. Mm, personality. I can't be somebody I'm not, man. I understand. I, I tell you what. Why don't we talk about... This is exactly what Jehovah's Witnesses teach. Jehovah's Witnesses teach that if you're not in the religion, you're probably like this angry person because you don't even know how to how to manage your angerness. Because if, if you're not in the religion, like how, how would you know? how what to do if you get angry and you, you would just get violent right jehovah's the only reason that to not be violent is the threat of like armageddon and the threat of of jehovah and all of that stuff so when they're like hey you know like you're gonna be less violent that means we're gonna scare you with the threat of armageddon until you repress those feelings uh, not because you know how to handle them but you know because you're like ah. Oh, I better leave it in Jehovah's hands and just postpone everything and not think about it. And that's how uh, Jehovah's Witnesses uh, conquer their anger by like postponing it and repressing it, which is why they have to show anyone who's not in the religion as like this angry, dangerous person almost. This is some more. You know, when I come over to your place for the study, okay? Yeah. All right. Whatever. All right. So we'll see you at your place, Joe. Okay. All right. Do you want to have something to eat before you go? No, I'm good. Thanks. All right, thanks again for coming by and picking up the books. Okay. Okay, Joe. All right. Be safe, man. Bye. See you soon. Bye. <laughs> yeah. What are they playing? What is that? What is that eight-bit music? Like, are they playing thirty years ago? I don't get it. Boys, your dad's home. Start getting ready for dinner. Okay. Hey, boys. Hey. Yeah, it's going. All right. Hey, how's it going? Uh, good. Good. How was your day? All right. Hey, so what are those books? Oh, these? Um, those are just some books from my accountant, Brian. Are they financial books? Because that looks like a Bible. Yeah. Yeah. Brian's a pretty religious guy. Um, you know, he's got a nice family, too. But anyway, so what are we have for dinner? What? When did you meet his family? Oh, I just saw him around. Yeah, he said it might be good to come over. Uh, bring his wife maybe to meet you. And they've got two daughters about Ricky and Arthur's age. Put the phone away. Come on, let's go. Turn that game off. Let's eat. You made your favorite dinner. Oh, tacos. Okay, let's say a prayer. Poor oh, Jesus. None of that. None of that is tacos. Look at that shit. I, 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 was, I was wondering, like, what, what, should I, what should I debunk? None of that is tacos. Look, look at this shit. Like, sure, these are tortillas. But like this is like bread and this is beans. And where are the tacos? Where are the tacos? Like I just see tortillas and like hot sauce and like th this looks like this looks like th this like weird like long bananas and like the beans and maybe like some rice. Where's the tacos? Oh Jesus. 
And of course, they are they are religious. And the woman is very into like, what? You got a Bible from where? Because that's how Jehovah's Witnesses would behave. I, anybody else, like if I got a Bible from like my accountant friend and, and, and my partner saw it, she'd be like, why did you get that Bible? And then I'll be like, oh, my accountant friend gave it to you. Ah, he's religious? Yeah, a little bit. And then that would be the whole conversation. Like, it would be like, what? You met you met his family? Hey, they want to meet us. What? It's just it's just so patriarchal and just so Jehovah's Witnessy, even when they're supposed to be portraying worldly people. Ruby, you have to convince Gloria. She's your daughter. She is making me look bad. She is my niece. So the way she lives reflects on me, too. She just needs to come work for my company. Then she'll be successful. And I obviously, like, love, love this... Jehovah's Witnesses are a religion that are based on appearances. Uh, everything is uh, because, like, what 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 would it look like? And in, in, in everything has like this this uh, cosmetic um, uh, feel to it. That's why Jehovah's Witnesses behave a certain way. That's why Jehovah's Witnesses uh, dress a certain way. And that's why Jehovah's Witnesses are very um, into their like reputation and what other people say about it. Because it's it's a it's a it's a religion about. Um, uh, uh, appearances and here they're like oh this this worldly person who's not part of our cult yeah he's also all about appearances and in this case is bad though because he's all about appearances and he wants to appear like all of his family is like successful and like has has, has like a, a, a good standard of living and obviously that is that is bad that is bad that is that is the wrong impression that you should you give you should talk to her about that all right okay bye <laughs> Tuesday. Oh, of course, the woman meeting together because they're doing their nails. Ah. I swear to God, like the guy was like, okay, we can have them do their nails or go shopping, but they are Korean ish. So I think nail salon is going to look more like what, like racist. I don't, I don't get it. Would you like the crystal gel today? Um, it's okay. It's too expensive. You need more money. Not super rich, but just enough to have what our relatives have. Or they'll look down on you. Mom, we have enough money. Maybe enough for today. But what if you get sick? Mom, please listen to me. Okay, you're done. I can drive. Okay. Hasn't Ryan lost some of his clients lately? Now you have to take care of yourself. You know your uncle can help you find a good job in his real estate company. Mom. Jehovah will take care of us as long as we trust in him. You waste time on God doing that pioneering thing. The kind that you could use to make money. How would you have enough when you're old? Mom, please listen to me. What? An old lady can't give you some advice? No, but we already talked about it. You never song. listen. I listen. Mom, I listen. This is... This is hilarious because to Jehovah's Witnesses, listening means accepting and obeying and following through. So the woman is like, listen to me because she's like, no, um, I, you know, I believe in Jehovah, which is why I don't need money. But won't you please listen to me once? <sighs> Your girls have to help. You have no sons. So they are your most important investment. You have to get them into good jobs, like your brother's kids. We don't expect our girls to provide us with money or support or anything, no. You just don't know what it's like to be poor. I know, I remember. When I was young, all I had to eat was turnips that I dug out of the cold ground. And Being poor is hard. And what she's saying is true, you know? like. The world is just becoming more and more capitalistic, unfortunately. And if you don't get like a couple of trades under your belt and get like a good job and shit, you're not going to make it through. But she's like, oh, we're, we don't expect our daughters to provide for us when we're old because we expect paradise to have come by them. Thank you so much, Queen of Fletchlands, a gift from me to you on my birthday. What are you, a hobbit? I mean, I like it anyway. I think since... It's Queen of Flatulence's birthday. I think everybody should give me donations. And I had to wear my sister's shoes with holes in them. Look at my shoes. Do you see holes in them? How do you think I got shoes with no holes, huh? <sighs> I 
Bible principles can help us to cope with any stress or anxiety we may face in the future. My husband just lost his job, so this might help. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Well, please be sure to read it and also check out our website. Okay, thank you. Have a good day. Check out our website because that's everything you do when you're hey, preaching nowadays. That's good. Yeah, it's okay. Are you okay? Well, Brian, I'm worried. What happened to her can happen to us too. I mean, we need a stable income and I can get a job in my uncle's real estate firm. Maybe this is an answer to our prayers. I might have to quit pioneering until I settle into work and stuff, but just for a while, until we're financially more stable. Sorry. Listen, this is key. Because this guy is presented as like a guy who can do no wrong, right? This is the guy who like is suffering because his wife is, wants to like make more money to live more comfortably, right? He's suffering because of it. However, even though the woman is like kind of like direct in what she wants, he will never be direct. He will never be like, Gloria, listen, I know that that's, that, uh, that seems like that, but it we are Jehovah's Witnesses. We believe in Jehovah. We should not work for your uncle on the real estate company because he can't even say that. Like he, he doesn't have the the basis to be uh, strict because there's nothing in the Bible that says, "Hey, you know, you shouldn't you shouldn't live comfortably." Like Job was rich. Like there's many Bible characters that were rich. In fact, like most Bible characters in the Old Testament were not only rich by kings, like way richer than than Gloria would could ever be. So. The way that he's he's going to go around it is by just complaining and nagging like Jehovah's Witnesses blame women to do. Like, I'm not saying women nag. I'm just saying I just made like a, a recent video where I, I just quote like several several parts of Jehovah's Witnesses being extremely misogynist and saying how uh, the wife has to like learn how to nag less. But here we will see the, the 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 wife be like assertive in what she wants and the guy nagging his way into like hoping that Gloria gets gets back into like her senses. Yep. We have enough. Besides, Jehovah will take care of us. He always has. We just have to trust in him. But what about our girls? They need a stable income to be pioneers. They have... I love it. I love it. Say, say. So pretend that we are we are happy but that pretend that this this thing that says what is the key to happy family life also applies to us like pretend that pretend that this actually works they need a stable income to be pioneers and they need to know where their next meal is Gloria. coming from and they have enough clothes to keep them warm i mean don't you believe that jehovah will keep his promise to help us oh. don't you believe that jehovah would keep his promise like he can just say i don't like that and here are the biblical bases why I don't like that. But he doesn't have biblical bases. He only has nagging. Also, I really like how uh, the Jehovah's Witnesses are so like hypocritical that they can't even create a drama where Jehovah's Witnesses are not are not like huge hypocrites because they're literally arguing, arguing in front of what is the key to a happy family life. Like th th this is right here. Like it's just it's saying it it's saying things out like like Jehovah's Witnesses don't even uh, have happy family lives even when they preach to you that you can have a happy family life if you become a Jehovah's Witness. Of course, but you never know what could happen tomorrow. We don't expect Jehovah just to drop everything we need into our laps, do we? Money is protection, right? We just need to be realistic and balanced. Gloria, Jesus said, "Never be anxious about the next day." Hello. Can I just take one of these? Yes, please do. Please be sure to visit our website for more information. That sounds like an ad lib bit. Do you see? Do you see? Yes, please do. This is our website for more information. Like it, it sounds like he forgot to say it, and and they're like, no, no. Even though they're arguing in front of what is the key to have the happy family life um, thing, we have to. We, he has to give a good witness. Can I just take one of these? Yes, please do. Please be sure to visit our website for more information. See? Oh, anyway. Yes, please do. <laughs> it just, it's it's recorded in a different place, a different day, in a, like a different room, a different microphone. So my Bible study Joe texted me earlier today, so he's looking forward to seeing us later uh, at their place. I almost forgot. What time are we supposed to be there? Uh, right after we're done here and we take the cart back to the kingdom home. Okay. I want to step by home and freshen up too. Okay. 
So you guys meet a lot of different people when you do this work? Yes. As Jehovah's Witnesses, we like to meet people from different backgrounds and cultures. Hmm. Yeah. We like to meet people from other countries, don't we, Mary? Yeah, we do. But we already have our own religion and traditions. They're part of who we are. Didn't becoming a witness mean you had to give that all up? Not at all. We still enjoy our traditional food, music, and clothes. There's so many other things. Yeah, so traditional music, unless it's, you know, the, the, they decide that like it, it goes against our religion. Clothes, unless they're not, like, dignifying in the way that our religion wants. And other stuff, like taking off your shoes when you enter our house. Other stuff. So we enjoy the best parts of all cultures. We just avoid the parts that God disapproves of. Like what? Well, for example, my mother still prepares food to offer to our dead ancestors on special days. Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't think I would ever do that. Well, it's like with the first century Christians. There were certain common attitudes and Jewish customs that they had to leave behind. So what did your family say when you changed your religion? My mother was very upset. She's not so angry anymore, although she doesn't understand. Oh, Gloria, Brian, these are our boys, Arthur and Ricky. Oh, hi. This is Arthur. Arthur and Ricky. Hi. They're amazing boys. Yeah, my boys. How y'all doing? Good. Good. Yeah. Good to meet you both. So how old are you? I'm 16. No, you're not. Almost 16. I'm 18. Oh, which high school do you attend? The one right down the street. Oh, oh that's our girl's school too. Um, Do you know Anna and Tina? Oh, yeah. I've, I've definitely seen them around. They're both so uh, really brainy. I love how specific they get. Which one do you attend? Which school do you attend? Oh, the down the street school. Oh, that is my, that is our daughter's street. Our daughters also attend to down the street school. Do you know them? Jesus Christ. Sure. And they're in New York, by the way. Okay. Let's see. Your girls are very lovely. Let's see your internet has to prove that. Don't jinx it. It 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 will go bad. <laughs> I'm sure they're very good girls. Oh, thank you. You know, actually, they both want to be full-time Bible teachers. Wow. Oh, uh, by the way, you know, we wanted to invite you, all of you, uh, to the hall this Sunday. We have a special speaker. He's very special. Yes, he's dear to us, and we've known him for years. Nice. Uh, he's really I don't know. special. He is the circuit overseer. Really special. We have known him for years. Really special dude. He's a circuit overseer. Please, like you, you have to. You have to just really. You have to. We'll see. Maybe just to check it out, but we'll have to talk about that. Yeah. And also, what I love is that they don't even give us a reason why. Like this dude wants to convert to the religion, and they will not give us a reason for the family who does convert to the religion. Spoiler alert: they will not give us a religion as to why they convert to the religion. They, they, they the only reason that they give us is, well, I mean, the father thought it was a good idea, because Gloria, why did you give me that look when I said the girls wanted to be in full time service? Well, I was reminded recently that the safest road is to get a good job with a good company. Uh. Has your mom been talking to you about this again? She's my mom. I have to listen to her. I owe it to her. You know, my father died. Look, look at how, how naggy and like, like, I, I, I need to point it out because he is extremely annoying, has the charisma of a wet blanket, and is the same man that they portray across dramas. In the in the in the twenty twenty one uh, convention, uh, we had a similar uh, family, and the dude was just like that. He's just like a a, a a boring wet blanket. Why? Because these are the dudes who are writing this stuff. The wet blanket who is very boring and is just like. I don't want to do it and has like doesn't have like the the emotional uh, capability or maturity to deal with these kinds of situations. It, those are the the ones who are actually writing this stuff. That's why everybody is like that because the they, this is the writers inserting themselves into this drama. When my brother and I were young, and then after that, also that's always that, that's also why the guys are always like average looking but the the women who they're married to are usually like traditionally attractive my mom had to raise us on nearly nothing you know it very well 
Yes, I know. She was very brave. Okay, but she didn't know Jehovah. We do. Shouldn't we be encouraging our girls to serve him full time? Why can't they do both? Everyone has to work, right? Okay, but what comes first, work or Jehovah? Exactly. Why can't they do both? Everyone has to has to work, right? Why not have a job that actually pays you pretty well? Because that's against Jehovah's Witness standard. You have to suffer as a Jehovah's Witness. When you suffer, when, when, when you don't make enough, enough money and when you suffer because you're being a Jehovah's Witness, that is considered as like you being a good Jehovah's Witness. Because the more you suffer, the more you would yearn for, for the cult's um, promises, like the paradise and all that stuff, to become a reality. But you see, there are so many witnesses that have prestigious, high-paying jobs. Yeah, but should we be pushing Anna and Tina to succeed in this system? No, I'm not. I just want them to have a normal life. And who knows how long this system will last? Oh. And what is wrong with living comfortably in the meantime? Okay, this is not a last day's question. Okay, it's always been wrong to strive to be rich. No, not rich. Just plenty. Just enough to give them peace of mind so that they can sleep soundly. She is actually... Like debunking like everything that he's saying and then he's moving to like a different thing and she's like yeah but that's not what i'm doing for and then she just like debunks that too this guy is being unable to logically explain why it, it, he he wants like this thing to happen why because there's no way to logically explain it it's just like a cult thing that you have to do because you're in the cult and if you don't want to do it then all they can all they can do like elders or whatever just be like exasperated being like ah Ah, uh, you that doesn't show faith. Like, but they can't they can't they can't tell you with the Bible, hey, this is wrong because it's not wrong according to the Bible. That's exactly the opposite of what the Bible says. Sweet is the sleep of the one serving. See, see, that's the opposite of what the Bible says. Like the Bible says, like this, uh taken out of context verse. Let's 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 listen to the whole thing, actually. I want to strive to be rich. No, not rich, just plenty, just enough to give them peace of mind so that they can sleep soundly. That's exactly the opposite of what the Bible says. Sweet is the sleep of the one serving, but the plenty belonging to the rich does not permit him to sleep. But don't you think they need a fallback career just in case? Again, again, he's talking about being rich. And she is like, I don't want them to be rich. I just want them to have enough and then a little bit more so they can be comfortable. And he's like, but there's this Bible verse about the rich. Like, shut the fuck about what is she saying? She, she's, oh, she's telling you that she doesn't want their children to be rich. She just wants them to have enough to be comfortable while the the uh, the, 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 the system of things arrive. But obviously, this has to be because she has a lack of faith, which is why she's like, come on, it's just in case, just in case our call just happens to be wrong and we just get new light. But obviously, since she is not part of the governed body, she doesn't get to say that shit. Just in case what? In case Jesus was wrong? See? Thank you so much. So, guess what? What? Mom's not pretty. It's my bed her as well. Like I, I, you, you, you think I showered before before doing it? Of course not. I, j I just woke up and put on this t-shirt. Doubt because Rick recognized my picture. <laughs> yeah, that figures. He's cute, but mom would never approve anyway. Of course not. She'd say, you're too young and he's not in the truth. <laughs> yeah, not just that. Their family is a nice. Exactly. You're too young. He's not in the truth. Two reasons that are not in the Bible to, you know, not date people. I mean, not in the truth. I guess, you know, there's this Bible verse of say, marrying only in the Lord. But the guy believes in the Lord. The guy believes in Jesus. The you know, like he is, he he shares pretty much like the same faith. He's he's also a Christian. Well off as we are. And don't forget the oh factor. Right. If grandma heard of it, she'd go, oh, <laughs> exactly. Hey, girls, you know what I always told you? You need to marry someone with the same standard as ours. You have to consider their family background and parents' career. Mom, doesn't the Bible say marry only in the Lord, not only in your social class? Yeah. Never mind. Have you guys finished your homework yet? And uh, your final's coming up. I don't want you missing any more meetings than necessary. I love that she's like, listen, I actually am a little bit classist. <laughs> so if somebody's rich enough, you know, that's that hey, that's that's fine. I'm a, I'm classist because I'm the villain. Okay. Gloria, 
why should they miss any meetings? You know, putting school before Jehovah, that's just practice for putting work before Jehovah. Sometimes they have to. Oh, those. Oh, I like these. Mm-hmm. What are those? You're not going out in your sister's shoes. Why not? Because I said so. But these are perfect. She doesn't wear them anymore. Never. Never. Your grandma had to wear her sister's shoes and they had holes in them. Mom, calm down. I don't wear them anymore. Oh, she was so ashamed. I made up my mind to make a lot of money so no one would ever see me borrow clothes. And you are not going to borrow it either. This completely nonsensical, you know, outburst, even though she's a Jehovah's Witness, and obviously, like, she, she shouldn't have, like, this outburst because, you know, she's a Jehovah's Witness. She, 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 that, that, that's, what, that's what Joe is uh, joining for, right? But this outburst is just to be like, oh, her mom got into her. Her mom got into her, which is why she got, like, this outburst over her shoes because she's a woman. She's a woman. And... Uh, we 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 were gonna use makeup down the line. Like I don't I don't know if we're gonna use makeup. Like, but but shoes though, also a woman thing. Hey, so you're gonna go or what? All right, I'll go. Now will you leave me alone? Well, you don't have to go if you don't want to. Well, if you don't want me to go, then I won't. I do. Okay, I said I do. I want you to go. So I said I'd go. I'd go just to see. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. Thank you. This is even the best case scenario. Joe has decided for for no reason that he wants to become a Jehovah's Witness. So he's been nagging his wife to to go to the meeting with him. Again, Jehovah's Witnesses teach that the best, like the not only men should take uh, you know the 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 lead in in your marriage, but also that taking the lead means just nagging a whole bunch to your wife. But this may be the only time. Maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you exactly what's gonna happen. It's the same thing that happens when I go to church. The people don't even know that I'm there. So why go? What? Nothing. You'll see, you'll see. It's gonna be the same that happens when I go to church. Nobody long bombs me. And then he's like, you'll see. I've gone to the meetings already, I guess. We'd like to welcome back Brother Lee Williams to deliver his final talk entitled, No One Can Slave for Two Masters. Brother Williams, please. There are billions of people who are enslaved without even realizing it. They unintentionally do it to themselves because they feel obligated to follow the traditions of their culture and they put family and money ahead of God. But Jesus made it clear that sooner or later, everyone on earth will have to choose who or what they will serve as master, either Jehovah or money and the power and prestige that goes with having it. I love how like even in, even here, in the dramatization, everybody is just looking mildly bored because that is like the most interesting you'll you'll ever look in in the meeting. Just like mildly bored, but like something like kind of like catches your attention, so you're like, mm, okay, like j- that's it. Just like silent, bored, and just absorbing the information. What train of you uh, uh, you smoking? I got that tangerine dream. I still have. Uh, what is this one? Um. Jack, Jack, Jack Hair. I, I, I have I have Jack Hair. Jack Hair is one of my favorite strings, and I have quite a bit of it because I got a deal on it. Notice how Jesus explained this at Matthew chapter six and verse twenty-four. I invite you to open your Bibles there, Matthew chapter six and verse twenty-four. And Jesus said, "No one can slave for two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will stick to the one and despise the other." You cannot slave for God and for riches. Now, how can someone be divided in loyalty like this? Well, let's think of a Bible example. Lot and his family. Now, Lot moved his family near Sodom and then later into the city, although knowing that the men there were wicked, gross sinners against Jehovah. Jesus, this is this is this is very boring already. But what he's saying, what he's doing is basically establishing the false dichotomy that will rule the rest of the of, of this dramatization. And the uh, you can't uh, you shouldn't have a, a, a good paying job um, uh, narrative 
from the Jehovah's Witnesses, that you can't slave for two masters. Apparently, it is slaving for two masters when you have a good paying job, but it is not slaving for two masters when you don't like when your job pays you so little that you have to like get another job or like sell other stuff or like, you know, like work for like another master. That, that, that's fine. Having a job with like a good paying job that gives you like a lot of freedom and all that stuff. That's being a slave. Was he seeking material security? Did he give in to pressure from his wife? Did they? try to serve two masters? Well, whatever the case, we know the results. The family suffered spiritually and they put their lives at risk. Eventually, this attitude affected Lot's wife so much that she loved the comforts of Sodom more than Jehovah. Even while Jehovah used the angels to try to get them out of that wicked city, Lot's wife looked back, possibly because of her attachment to her things. I love how they are, they are like Lot's wife looked back and that and and, and God uh, punished her uh, for that with death, right? Here they're like, you know, she did that because she loved the riches. She had a real nice house. She had real access to like good wine. She could she could just go out drinking because you know with her friends, and she had she had a lot of them, and she had like a great social media in, it, it following. Like she had a lot of followers on Instagram, and they were all in Sodom and Gomorrah. So she was looking back into that. Doesn't doesn't even the biblical narrative? The biblical narrative just says that she looked back, you know, seemingly yearning for something. It, like that's a, that's apparently what 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 it what it's trying to say that it, she was yearning for something in the city right and that's why God was like you dead now but uh, look, there's nothing about that oh she was actually like very much into riches and she became a pillar of salt now could Lot's wife have avoided that tragic outcome of course it didn't have to end that way. Oh, no wonder Jesus made the very direct comments at Luke chapter 17, verse 32, when he said, remember the wife of Lot. And there is a lesson for us. We are living at a time when it is vital that we do not look back. Look back, look back. This, there is the lesson for us. The lesson, we can't look back to this system of things and want to be rich. <laughs> That's what the wife of Lot teaches us, according to Jehovah's Witnesses. Let's see, like this, this, this bit of like uh, horror uh, little short that they get, they got going. Good of sense. What a sobering reminder that we should put Jehovah God first and seek His approval before family, money, and things. I am Caleb. Tell your folks I said hello. Okay. All right. Thank you. Bye bye. Brother Williams, that was. Tell your folks I said hello. Why are those two little girls without her folks? Like, why can he say hello? Like, that the folks don't didn't go to like the meeting, and then they, like the little girls just like drove themselves there. Like, what's going on? Here? Very inspiring. Oh, thank you, Brian. I'm glad you thought so. I want you to meet Joe and Mary. This is their first meeting. Oh, nice to meet you, Joe and Mary. Yeah, yeah. that is exactly accurate. When your brain starts glitching while this association at, at, at the Kingdom Hall, yes, like that is exactly what happened. She was just like. Li have listening to to the to the um, to the speaker and then she she just started disassociating like absolutely every other jehovah's witness has done in every single uh meeting uh, that that is my hardest um that is the hardest thing for me as a as, as a next jehovah's witness in con in, in the making content around this shit because my brain is like so primed to like disassociate as soon as the the indoctrination starts to as just as a, as a way to like escape from this like horrible, boring uh, propaganda that I still, you know, like I, I can't listen to it for a long time without like losing control and completely disassociating and like thinking about what I need to do like tomorrow or like a made up scenario or or, 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 or wondering if, you know, uh, how would I save everybody in the kingdom hall if, if, if a gunman like came into, I wouldn't save anybody, I would leave by myself. Hey, Gloria. Hi, hey, Brother Williams. I gotta tell you, all of this is so different from my church. I mean, I liked your sermon, but believe me, we're not a family that expects to ever get rich. We never have any money for anything anyways. Mm, right, just a lot of debt. Yeah, but you know the important thing is that we can have our spiritual needs taken care of. God can take care of all the other needs. Well, I'm glad you were able to make it today. Hopefully this won't be your last time. No, maybe. Thanks again, Louise. Take care. Yeah. Take care. Bye, Bye. Bye.
Hey, so thanks for coming over, man. I really appreciate the effort you made to come today. Yeah, man. It was good. I enjoyed it. The speeches he gave were good. Yeah? Yeah, it was pretty nice. Good. So, we'll see. You know, I've looked at uh, other, like, uh, Christian religions and all that stuff. And all I've realized is that Jehovah's Witness meetings are just extremely boring. I don't think Joe over here would prefer his, his uh, like, this uh, kingdom hall to his actual, like, normal, regular church. Especially if it has, like, people of color and shit. Because, you know, if, if this church is, like, white churches are like very boring but as soon as you you put like a little bit of melanin in there like the churches become really fun what did mary think well I, know, i gotta check with her um i mean this is a lot different than her church yeah so later on i'll i'll get her take on it too yeah right yeah. thanks again brother williams good to see you again appreciate it and joe mm -hmm. it's nice to meet you yeah all right mm -hmm. bye bye hey brian where's mr williams wife he's a widower Julia died a few years ago, oh. but he took good care of her right to the end. Man, that's sad. Yeah. Especially when it's your wife. Oh. But you know what? He's convinced, and we're all convinced, we'll see her again in the new world. And you know, despite his grief, he continues his work. Wow. Uh -huh. Yeah. So how much does he make then? Oh, well, he doesn't make anything. He's, he's a volunteer. A volunteer? Yeah. Well, how does he afford that nice car, his phone, and his suit? Well, the congregation covers his basic expenses. What? The congregation? Man, it sounds to me like he's living off others instead of working, like you say. Oh, no, no, Joe, you got it all wrong. He's busy just like the rest of us. He's he's busy preaching. He's preparing, teaching, listening to it. It's not like that. Yeah, but you he's busy like the rest of us. He just gets a car and, and, and money from us. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't make money. He's a volunteer, but he makes money, though. Like, he makes money. You suppose he ever asked himself, can I make it in this real world like you and I do every day? Joe, trust me. He knows what this world is really like. I mean, he's in it every day, helping people. Besides, before he learned the truth, he had a prestigious career. He just doesn't talk about it. Man, I gotta go. Uh, hey, Mary. Yeah. And we try to follow Bible principles as much as we Mary. Can. Yeah. You ready to go? I'm ready. Mm -hmm. Well, I gotta go. So okay. I'll see you next time. Hey, girls. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we gotta get back. Okay. So thanks again, man. and I'll see you next week. Mm -hmm. All right. Bye, see you Bye, Mary. Bye, 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 girls. Bye, Joe. Bye. You know, I really enjoyed Brother Williams' talk today. The part where he said, you cannot slave for two masters. You cannot serve God and riches. I really like that. This has literally never happened in the history of Jehovah's Witnesses. Jehovah's Witnesses cannot remember what the speech was about once the speech has ended. It, it immediately gets erased from your memory. Really, like I'm just, I know that I'll get like Jehovah's Witnesses saying, oh no, but look, we do remember, we do believe. Really? Really? List the last four speeches then. Like that, just just the, the last four recent speeches. Let me know what 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 they were about. I can tell you what the what, what the convention was about in detail. You can't. Yeah, Brother Williams always gives nice talk, but are there many brothers who are successful in the world and in the truth too? How can he say you cannot do both? But Gloria, exactly. it wasn't Brother Williams who said no one can slay for two masters. It was Jesus. I know. But I see witnesses who are very active in the truth and also hold down high paying jobs. Some even pioneer. Exactly. Because you have to have a job in this uh, capitalistic system of things. That's just how it works. You have to slave for several several uh, capitalistic bosses to, to um, appease your capitalistic overlords. That's how it works. That's how the world works. Right? So this guy has a job. He's an accountant, right? I mean, she's like, I mean, I just want them to have a job where they make, you know, pretty good money instead of no money. That's it. But he's like, it was Jesus who said that you can't serve for two masters. So you can't have a good paying job. Jesus said that. That's why you have to exert yourselves. Gloria, Jesus said to exert yourself to get into the narrow door, not to serve two masters. Evidently, Lot's wife tried to serve both. Evidently, we're different time. evidently, Lot's wife tried to serve both. No, she didn't. No, she didn't. She just looked back. She wasn't serving no masters. For all we know, she 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 loved her house so much because she just laid on the couch all day, all day and then when she wasn't praying to Jehovah. You know, that for all we know, that's that's what she liked the house so much because it had a really nice comfy couch. I, Jesus I'm Christ. Still, 
Don't you think our girls need to try as hard as they can? But think of those in our own congregation who push their kids too far. They couldn't do it all. They had to take a break from the truth so they could pursue their material goals. So far, they haven't returned to Jehovah. Can you guys walk any faster? Won't use anecdotal evidence when you are being a wet blanket and nagging with like look at look at look at this look at this dumb face look can, can i zoom in i can't zoom in look at his dumb face he's like no, you can't serve too much you don't like jesus christ and he's just using anecdotal evidence being like hey look at these people who are doing terribly because they tried you know getting in school it's not like they woke up and and they said that they wanted a break from the truth so they could they could you know Fade is just is that they 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 served too much. They had a good paying job. Is what I don't happened. want to miss my TV show. So, mom, how was your baptism? What baptism? Didn't you get baptized this morning? How was it? Yeah, was it as good as Dad said? Yeah, I enjoyed it. Everyone was so pleasant. It's not what I thought it would be. Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. We listened to a sermon and looked up a lot of scriptures. I couldn't even keep up. I didn't know the Bible had so many books. But you know, now I can see why your dad's so interested. This is so insulting. She's supposed to be a like, like, Catholic. Like we saw the like the Catholic little like handles and shit. And she's like, I didn't even know the, the Bible had this many books. It's just so like... It, 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 it's just like further the pseudo intellectualism of the Jehovah's Witnesses that even Jehovah's Witnesses don't have anymore because Jehovah's Witnesses nowadays are not about uh, like all of this like uh, deep spiritual truths. They're about saying how the wife of Lot served for two masters and, and that's why you don't have to, you don't have, you, you shouldn't get a high paying job like this. It, it's how many, how many Bible verses have we seen so far in this drama? Like it's, it's, it, it disproves itself. It's like it's like when when they were both in front of the how to be happy a happy family uh, card the Jehovah's Witness card while having an argument like it it literally disproves itself. So what does that mean? Yeah, like what happens now? Are you like ready to get baptized? Shall I baptize thou now? What's wrong with you? Stop that! You know both of you just get up and help me clean this table. Let's go. I love how the mom is like super short with with the with the teenagers because that's how Jehovah's Witnesses are. They're like, yeah, like people are people are just as bad with 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 our with our kids. I told them that I would sit in the next time they came to study with their dad. I gotta keep my word. No, you don't. You don't owe those people anything. Yep. Yeah, they'll understand don't. anyways. Listen, that would be rude. I'm many things, but I've never been rude. Besides, I'm curious. Who knows what I could learn from all of this? I'm curious, but I'm going to convert to this religion because otherwise I'd be rude. That is the best reason they've, they've shown to, like, convert to this religion other than they use the Bible. <laughs> and obviously, these kids are like, oh, I mean, I kind of don't want you to convert because then that means that we got to convert because, you know, we also obey Jehovah's Witness uh, rules. Like, whatever, whatever you say uh, goes. Like, we have absolutely no freedom of religion. I know this place will be the home of your dreams. Those men are so funny. Thank you. Mom, they're a gay couple. So? A year ago, that shocked you. Things change, and we need to get used to it. What? I forgot this little homophobic bit was in this. I forgot about this. They, they show you, like, just... They don't even show you the gay couple. They just show you, like, two men. And she, like... They're funny, and and the wife is who who supposedly like a not so good Jehovah's Witness still has to be like, you can't say that shit. They're the homosexuals. You can't say anything positive about homosexuals. They're homosexuals. That's you can say that shit. Just a huge. We're deeply homophobic. You, see, you can't even see their that's faces. The only way to survive. Your girls need to get big money jobs. You have no choice. Otherwise, your sister-in-law and her family will look down on them and on you. Mom, why are you trying to even impress them? You don't even like those people. Never mind. Mom? Mm -hmm. 
I'm starting school tomorrow. School? You? Mm -hmm. What school? I'm going to take real estate classes so that I can earn my own money. No. I want to move to better apartment. Mom, can you please speak to Uncle for me about working for his real estate company? Now you talk like a good daughter. <laughs> this is so misogynist. Next time on. Like the mom is like, oh, you are a good daughter because you are doing what I say, getting a high paying job and studying. Jesus Christ. Let's, let's, so this is, this, this is where we're going to take, like, what, what's going obviously, on? like, this is, this is where we're going to see next. Uh, we're going to take a little uh, breather and to, to, to play the next one. Because oh, I don't have the next one. Hold on. Ah, uh, there you go. Okay. Uh, hi, Caleb. I just binge all your videos. That's awesome. Thank you so much. You are the person who watched them all. <laughs> okay, let's just uh, share a screen. Where is it? There you go. Let's see how this this dramatization Previously unfolds. On, remember the wife of Lot. Yeah, we 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 watched it. We we we, we remember. Brian, this stock is going so well. You're gonna join us. Thanks for thinking of me, Henry, but I can't accept it. Why not? This is a good opportunity. And you need more income. It's too good paying and too comfortable for me as a Jehovah's Witness. I have to suffer as a Jehovah's Witness. I, I can't I can't accept this. No. <laughs> you seem confident, Henry, but uh, I'm sorry, I just can't accept it. You don't trust my investment strategy. That's it, isn't it? Just say so. Look, you already know I think your latest investments are risky. And no, I'm not going to gamble my meager funds. But that's not it. Brian, he says we've got to risk money to make money. Don't you understand that? Even if there weren't any risk involved, I can't accept a job offer that's going to take so much of my time and money. Brian, I don't get it. All you have to do is sacrifice a little time for a couple of years, and you'd have all the money you need. Henry. What job tells you to sacrifice money? That's that's the opposite of why you get a job. You get a job to get money, not to get rid of money. Like, do do people in Bethel don't know what how jobs work like at all? I hope it works out for you, okay? But I can't accept. All right, just just say hi to Jennifer for me, okay? All right, bye. Who's that? Your client? That was just your brother. He wants to get me involved in one of his investment businesses, but I don't have time or money for that. Well, I think we need to invest our money into something more secure, like real estate. And we need to move across the town where we can network with more influential people. Is this your mom's idea? Because we can't afford this. We're already too much in debt. Well, look, we can mortgage this place and then rent it out. We're not taking full advantage of this opportunity. We need to put the kingdom first. I am putting kingdom first, but this is the time to think about our future. How many working years do we have left anyway? But if you don't plan ahead, we'll end up living on the street. Why are you all dressed? That is true, though. That is true. If they don't keep like either if they don't have savings by the time that they don't have that they can't work anymore, then they will not have money. Because that is how that works, right? Like if, if you don't if you don't have any money and you can't work anymore, then you can't generate any more money. So what she's saying is true, but she's like, but but. But, but I need I need to worry about the kingdom. I, uh, paradise is I have to believe that paradise is gonna come though, even though it hasn't come. Gloria, stuff like this. Are are you going on service? I'm going to real estate classes. What? We didn't talk about this. Why? If you made my money out, look how mad he is that she's taking like adult an adult course. Like a course for adults. Like that's it. He's like, what the fuck's going on here? We don't have to. We've never gone without. Great, wait.
Do you have cash? I need you for a taxi. Please. That's supposed to be hilarious. But like... Oh, wow. We get a little introduction. Ugh, wet blanket. But like, don't they have a car? We saw that they have a car. Why does she... Why is she taking a taxi? That's more expensive. This is really bad. No wonder this was the only... Like, I think that if, the, if this had been, like, a little bit more successful or, like, good at all, they they would have done what, like, they, what they did with Jay and Nita and, like, recorded a, a few things again. Like, a, a few more chapters, you know? Sorry, I was just uh, uh, thinking of Jay. Hey, boys. I just heard your dad pull up. Start getting ready for dinner. Nice. <laughs> hey, boys. Yeah. Hey, babe. How's it going? Oh, all right. How you doing? Good. What a day. Why are they playing with that? With with the with the with the with the with the bean thingy? Like I, I forgot I forgot its name. What 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 are they like? Hippies from like the sixties or? the early 2000s when that when that briefly became popular for like a, a summer like this is the jehovah's witnesses like i feel like there's there there's such a there's such a um uh an isolated group that their references uh, of like culture like pop culture always seem like and 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 chronicle and anti chronicle and and anti chronistical where it always seems anti chronistical. Don't look. Hey, okay. dinner's gonna be ready soon, so go wash up, okay? Oh, all right, yeah. Hey, guys, you wanna wrap this game up? Let's get ready for dinner. Hacky sack, exactly. Here you go. Hey, what did I just say? Put this furniture back and get ready for dinner. Something important we got to talk about tonight. Jesus. I want to convert everybody to the Jehovah's Witnesses. God damn it. <laughs> oh, my God. This is this is just... I love how violent Jehovah's Witness propaganda is because when you go out and you actually, like, meet worldly people, you're like, oh, they're not like this. So at least, like, that that was the um, the, the excuse that I had in my head. As to why I, I I associated with some people who weren't Jehovah's Witnesses, because I was like, oh no, like they aren't like this, <laughs> they aren't like completely out of their mind and, and like crazy and like angry. They're not like that. They're actually like nice people, you know. Like they're not like this. They're not like the way that apparently every single other worldly pe uh, person is. He's they're actually like almost almost just as human as us. So what did you want to talk about that was so important? All right. Okay. Look, I've decided something. I decided that I want to, well, I, I want us all to start studying the Bible together. What? You mean you want to become a priest? Come on, Rick. It's Jehovah's Witnesses, isn't it, Dad? I borrowed your book. I liked it. Well, I think it's a good idea. You know, I really like those people. And it seems to be helping you, Joe. You seem so much happier. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah, I am. Yeah, yeah, so, now, that I, now that I shaved the beard. I am, but I mean, I just, I just, um, uh, like, lost my patience because the kids just, like, threw a hacky sack at me. like, And I completely lost it. But yeah, I, I am happier. I am a happier person. Like, this is how this is how Jehovah's Witnesses think families get converted into this cult. That's why they have such a hard time converting people, at least converting people who, who like in, in in the Western world. Because like imagine this would have to be it. Like you're you would have to live in a very patriarchal family and then convince the patriarch, and then the patriarch kind of like carries everybody with him in into the kingdom hall. And that's just not how the world works. That's that's how Jehovah's Witnesses act because when they do, when they don't do that, they get this fellowship. So they're like, yeah, I bet like everybody else just has to do exactly what like the their 
father says. And if the father changes religion, literally everybody has to follow through because, I mean, uh, what are the that, – that, that, that's how it works, right? Like I said, that's what I decided. See, that's what but I decided. But I really want us all to be in on this together. All right, so what do you say, boys? Sure, Dad. Right. We get some opposition, oh, Rick. but let's see how they solve it. Oh, I guess you know that was that was the only opposition. Like it's just like, uh, and you just you just nag, you know, like you say women do. Like you just you just nag at at, at, at your something. Uh, but I want you to convert to a different religion and get into a gold. What are you doing with this? They infect the husband with misogyny in the hopes to get the whole family in. Yeah. Yeah, I I I think I think that's exactly what's happening here. And I think that's why um uh, Men are so attracted to like this religion and, and not just this religion, but like Jehovah's Witness women, because Jehovah's Witness women, if they are like trained as Jehovah's Witnesses, they are they have like this internalized misogyny. So they are very easy to like be led by like a man. Right. And, and you know, it creates that, that's why, again, a lot of people, when they leave the Jehovah's Witnesses, don't, don't really have uh, healthy relationships because you kind of have to, like, get rid of all of this unhealthy way of, like, look at the world it, it, before you actually, like, go out and date because otherwise you just be attracted to, to like, the wrong people and the wrong things. And you, you will be able to – you won't be able to acknowledge, like, red flags. But, yeah, that is that, that, that is a good point, Diana. Like, it, it, it is – they definitely infect – Jehovah's Witnesses definitely use misogyny as – uh, an, an indoctrination tactic <laughs> like that is that is the only thing we've we saw here like they use misogyny as an indoctrination tactic tacitly you know because it wouldn't have worked if the guy wasn't already like such a misogynist and if the guy ha hadn't decided that he was going to become a jehovah's witness because of reasons of course the one who didn't want to join had a beard that is true lauren that is true <laughs> That he did have a goatee. Nowadays, like Jehovah's Witnesses can have goatees, though. I I even grew a goatee now that the governing body, you know, let me Gloria? grow a goatee. Is that you? Yeah, it, it's me. Gloria, they hire actors for some roles. The kid in that Prodigal Son movie they made was a paid actor and gay. Says Parlock J uh, Dropper. Yes. That is true. The uh, I if if anybody watched that live stream, the guy who we 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 think of as Joik, who because we we think it's it's he looks a lot like like Jake from the Old Worldly Channel. He he looks exactly like Jake from the Old Worldly Channel to the point where I'm not completely sure that that's not like Jake before he woke up. That dude though, in real life, he's like fully on fully gay. Jake, also kind of gay you know a little bit so you know it even it even matches up but yeah no in real life the uh, joy is actually like a like a a a, a a a a gay paid actor you're talking about joy right because i i maybe you're talking about like a, like a different dude who's also a paid actor and gay ah uh, some new things that i pick up today i made my first sale today aren't you happy yeah uh, yeah that's that's great we need the extra income, but it looks like you spent it already. Yeah, it's just a few things. Uncle told me that I have to look professional to work for him. If I'm going to move up and attract the right type of upscale client, I have to look the part. So this background music is wasted. Hand, not gonna lie. Yeah, that is true. Our our, our Hoy sixty four. The the music, the background music. I've been enjoying it quite a bit. It actually is better. Even though it is, it is very derivative, it is better made than most sitcoms today. Like the the music is the best part of the sitcom, like the the, the most artistic part of the sitcom. Like I, you you can tell that they have like an orchestra to make the background music, which very few people have. Like a lot of people just have like 
just a couple of dudes doing like some music in their computers for for the for for this for their sitcom you know like they these people have like a full orchestra and it shows no. but gloria i thought you were doing this just to get a little extra income for our necessities how much time are you planning to spend on this as much as it takes you can't be successful by working less we already have a very full schedule with our spiritual routine we have to make sacrifices for what's most important in life. You know that. This new job, I'm worried. It may mean sacrificing time we should be spending on spiritual things. What about your pioneering? What about it? I can do both. She's not even stopping her pioneering, which, by the way, is not like a thing she has to do as a Jehovah's Witness. That's an extra thing that she has to do as a Jehovah's Witness. So even she's still, she's still, and not just a Jehovah's Witness, an exemplary Jehovah's Witness at that. And the husband is nagging because she's making money. Because you're like, mm, it seems you, your money, you just spent it already, but... You can't, you can't do both. And obviously, since uh, this drama is written by him, uh, uh, this, he, he will inevitably be be uh, right, even though so far she has been able to do both. Not only has she been able, been able to do both, she even ha had time to do the other thing that, that women like, not the nail thing, but shopping. <laughs> Go to her store. Okay. Good morning, sir. How are you? Oh, you people again? Look, don't you have real jobs? I have a real job and you keep waking me up, okay? I'm this sorry, is... Frank. Forgive us. We didn't mean to upset you, man. Joe? Yeah, it's me, Joe. <laughs> I didn't even recognize you, man. How you doing, Joe, man? Hey, how you doing, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm good. It's been a while. God, it has. We used to work together back in the day. Uh, yeah. When was the last time we saw each other? I think it was that time we were hauling that lumber. Oh, when we were loading it and then it all fell so, over in the all first store. And not only do they have, does he have like an amazing interaction? He already knows the dude, and obviously this is gonna this is gonna work out. Now it's not gonna work out enough for him to actually convert him because even in Jehovah's Witness world, even in Jehovah's Witness propaganda. That's too far fetched, you know. Like converting people, it, uh, that's too far fetched. They're gonna have a nice interaction though, and that is going to see uh, to, to be seen as like you know success. Street. The street. <laughs> that's why I have to clean it up. Forever, it was terrible. What you should have saw was how mad this guy oh. he was. So mad, man. You almost see the fumes coming out his ears. Yeah, yeah. That was the old Joe, Frank. Looks like I got a new Joe here, though. You all dressed up. Yeah, and everything yeah. will bring you by. Well, actually, we have some good news we'd like to share with you. Good news, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, I like good news. Well, why don't you come on in? I'll get some beers and we can talk about this good okay, news. Okay, but no thanks on the beers this morning. Oh, okay. Well, come on in. No, okay. This couldn't have gone better. He's like, oh, yeah, you used to be very angry. You know, this guy used to be very angry, but it seems like you you are way better. Not only are you way happier, but you look way better. You, you, you look... You look, you look way fancier. It looks, it even looks like you've lost some weight. How could that be? And then the guy's like, oh, well, you know, it is because of my cult. Your cult? Let's have some beers and talk about it. Then. Uh, Jesus, like, this has literally never, never happened. Never, ever, ever, ever happened. Mom, this place is so big and Fancy. I could make so much money if I closed this deal today. Uncle, so proud. Oh, that's my little Gloria. You make me so proud now. I'll tell all my relatives what a big, important realtor my daughter is. What about Anna? Did she accept the internship with your cousin's business? Mm -hmm. You know how hard I work to set it up. I know, Mom. Thank you so much for everything. She starts next week. You make me so happy. There's something else. If I make the sale today, I'll have enough to make down payment on the bigger apartment that I told you about, the one on the east side. 
the fancy one your uncle's firm owns? Yes, that one. Ooh, I'm so excited. I know, me too. I can't wait to tell everybody. Mom, I think my clients are here. I gotta go. Talk to you later, okay? Okay, okay. She just started her work, right? This is how delusional they are at Bethel. They think that someone who just started, even with nepotism, someone who just started her work in real estate would do so well in New York as to be able to buy, like put down a down payment on a fancy apartment in New York within a couple of months? Jeez, and she, she's still pioneering? What is this job? How can I get, like, I will, I, I will, I, I, I will marry any any uncle I need to any Korean uncle I need to marry. I I don't care. I want this. Are you kidding me? Like she's making like hundreds of thousands of dollars or something. What what's going on? Hello, come on in. She, she's, nice to see you guys. she's extremely oh, rich. It's very nice. Notice how they're dressed. They're dressed pretty much like every single other Jehovah's Witness. In fact, like the the shirt looks like pretty cheap, right? Look at look at the fabric. Look look, it just looks like cheap cotton, like a very cheap cotton. Look look at this like like the way it falls and the way that it has like all of these wrinkles and shit. Like this guy, not only not only is this a cheap shirt, this guy has been in this shirt for like a while, right? You can tell. And, and like the pants are just like gray pants, and like the woman is just wearing uh, a, a dress with like a Jehovah's Witness ca card again, right? Like this is pretty much every Jehovah's Witness ever. That's gonna that's gonna become uh, important in the future. Oh, hey, hey, soon. Enjoy. Thank you. That's a bad shirt, though. That's a bad shirt. Like, couldn't they? Aren't they supposed to be buying like this very expensive luxury like place? Like, couldn't? have at least gotten him like a, a freshly ironed shirt oh, i love this like the dude is like i'm becoming a jehovah's witness and right now we can't have beards yet so so i'm shaving my beard also is anybody here a piercing expert because i, I got this piercing like seven seven weeks ago but every time that i try to change it like i just can't change it like it feels like it's just very hard to change it and even it still kind of like hurts a little bit. So I'm I'm afraid of like changing it for like another one now because I've tried to changing it twice and it was it was a really painful experience and like I, I did not succeed. It is can anybody give me any 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 advice on that while we where we are in this live show? In, please <laughs> I don't I don't have you 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 guys are my only friends. I don't have anybody else to ask. <laughs> Oh, look at them. They just, they just, like the guy who didn't want to convert, he just converted. Like that was, that was the resolution. Like, you know, the guy who didn't want to convert at the beginning, you know how he converted? He converted like he just did. That's how it works. And the wet blanket uh, filming in like, not even film, like filming in portrait mode. What? What's wrong with you, man? It's just a, a, a near low piercing. You can see it over here. So it should be healed, oh, hey, as far as I know. Hi, boys. Congratulations. Thanks, Brother Williams. Thanks so much. Man. Really yeah, everybody. Everybody with the fake smiles. Just everybody because everybody has to have like this toxic positivity they have to remember to smile all of the time yeah so am i yeah well how have you been 
you know, we've been good. Um, it's like Jesus said, we always have enough to pay the bills, and sometimes even a little extra. Ricky, what? Congratulations. Jesus said that shit. Jesus said that's what Jesus said, isn't he? Oh, you you know that you're following me when you have just enough to pay the bills, and sometimes maybe even a little extra. That's what Jesus said. Like, wow. Yes. Oh, thank you. Thank I'm you so, so much. Happy for you. Yeah, but hey, I know it's just the beginning. Really? Is it a cartilage piercing? So it's not a cartilage piercing. It's just an earlobe piercing, which is why, like, I'm just like, if it if it had been a cartilage piercing, obviously I would expect it to hurt for like you know six months or, or something, right? But I wanted to start on the earlobe because I heard like it, it healed very quickly, but like it's been almost two months. Oh, what's next? Actually, I want to learn sign language. Wow. Yeah, maybe join the congregation. Hopefully, pretty soon. That sounds exciting. Good for you. Yeah, I've been teaching myself so far yeah um as far as i've gotten is i'm learning sign language and that's all i know that's very impressive you gotta start somewhere <laughs> yeah that's true tina over here what are you doing i was just congratulating ricky hi tina hi gloria hi brother Williams. how are you good i love to talk to you about obviously uh, she, she is, um, uh, she, she's, she, 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 she's good because she waited until he was a full Jehovah's witness and into sign language for her to like be interested in him, even though like she was, she was interested in him like since before that. I have an appointment. I gotta go. Oh, talk to you later. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, you have an appointment and have Brian, to go. Where's Gloria going? Is she okay? Oh, where is Gloria going? Is she okay? I wanted to talk to her and she said no. Please explain. Yeah, Brother Williams, uh, she, she had to leave. Um, Gloria's going to catch the rest of the assembly next week. Um, yeah. She's just been so busy with her real estate job lately. We needed the extra money. You know, we moved into a better place over on the east side of town. And, well, I'm working a little bit more, too. I'm just trying to make her happy. You may be allergic to the metal. Use try something else or go to a piercing shop and ask them. I, I, I may go to a piercing shop later today. Um, it's it is it is a gold earring. Like it's it is a very cheap gold earring, but it is it is gold. So it's it's literally just like the stem that is gold. Like <laughs> because it was very cheap, but it is gold because I wanted to avoid that. And I I literally like washed it like for like twice a day for like the first four weeks with with like the, the the spray that you're supposed to. So I'm I would be very surprised if it's if if I'm having like a bad reaction to it. But but yeah, I mean I I would go I would I, I will go to a, to a piercing shop later. Anyway, I love how the dude is is just nagging to him being like you know, I'm trying to convert my wife, but it's just it's just not working. It's, she keeps wanting to make enough money for us to live comfortable. And the worst part is that she's succeeding. She I don't even want to say them. She even, she even put a down payment for a nicer apartment. <laughs> Can you see what I'm going through? Like Jesus Christ, man! Like it's such a such a such a whiny wet blanket. True happiness, Brian. Joy. It's spiritual. You can't satisfy spiritual needs with material things. <sighs> I know, Brother Williams, but this extra stress, it's just temporary. I will try that. I thought it all through. Too. We've prayed about it, and we've asked for Jehovah to bless this decision. Now, you know, Brian, Jehovah God cannot bless a decision if it is not in harmony with his will. Look at yourself. You don't seem happy. Yeah. Why is that? Can you just explain why you are not happy? Your wife is in your religion. She is, she is learning a new trade that does not take away from neither the time that she needs to spend with you, nor the time that she needs to spend with her family, nor the time that she needs to like take care of the house, nor the time that she needs to buy an ear. And she has made enough money to buy a nicer apartment already. Why is Wet Blanket upset? We'll never know. What can I do now? Do all you can to protect your family spiritually. And to say 
This is the worst thing ever. Protect your family spiritually. Your wife. She didn't even want to talk to me for longer than saying hello. I wanted to have a conversation with her and she, she said, no, a woman. You need to take the better care of your family. Save your girls. I appreciate the encouragement, Brother Williams. You're welcome. You know, it's, it seems like it's been a while since we've been able to talk like this. Oh, it has been. If you're not busy, would you be able to come over and join us for dinner tomorrow night? You know, I would love to do that. Why don't you text me your new address and the time? This is my pet peeve. Like, I don't, I don't understand. Am I the only one who, whose partner is, is like, kind of like not into like inviting people over without any prior, prior, like, you know, time? Cause, cause, cause now that I think about it, I don't like it when she like visits people. She's never had like people over and not told me about it. Like, and if I ever want to have people over the house, cause, cause like she lives in this house, right? Like, we share this house, right? Because, you know, we, we are partners. So, like, if I want to bring someone into the house that we share, I have to let I have to let her know. I have to, like, get an okay from her. And that goes both ways. How come, how come people, like, is, is that not that, like, like the, are we just very particular in the way that, you know, in the people that we invite to our house? Like, is that is that what's happening? Or, like, or, or is that just like a Jehovah's Witness thing? Because I feel like every time that we see Jehovah's Witness propaganda, the guy is just like, oh, yeah, come over to the house fucking whenever. I won't even tell my wife like, because she has to, be, you know, be ready and like uh, 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 be ready to like receive guests and, and like entertain whenever. Like, I don't understand. Like, uh, Sarah says, it's, is it Jehovah's Witness? Way? I think it is. I honestly think it is because I can't imagine just me inviting someone over just without getting an okay at least like someone over who who's who, who my wife like didn't even talk to you know like if my wife hadn't even talked to this dude I'm, I'm not even gonna invite him over without asking my wife like what that's such a weird thing to do are there no subtitles i i don't know can, can we put up oh we can put up elvin right where were you an hour and a half ago and I'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow. That sounds good? Sounds great. Excellent. Thank I look you, forward to seeing you tomorrow. All right. Okay. See, I feel I feel that's like, come on. Like I, I feel like if if I if I if I was if I lived with a freaking like roommate, right? Somebody who is just like a friend, not somebody who like I marry because I respect and I want to like share the rest of my life with. Like a roommate. I feel like if I wanted to like have people over. I text them, right? Like, I'd be like, hey, is this okay? Like, we'd have to, like, have some sort of plan to, like, figure this out because, I don't know. It's just, I, my, honestly, my house is, like, a very private thing. Not everybody, like, is, is allowed to, like, be in my house. Uh, it's just, it's just, I, also, I have no friends, so I, I, I don't even invite anybody. Like, I, I, I've never even been in this situation to, like, invite somebody. So, so maybe, maybe I'm just the bad, the, the worst person to, 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 to ask. Sure, my joint. Yeah. That is a nice Come apartment. On. Like, can I help with Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah. She got this apartment within like a year of work. This is New York. This is New like the East Side. What is that, Manhattan? She got like a nice ap an apartment this nice and big in New York. After working a part-time job in this? No, no, that is, this is just, I can suspend my, my, my disbelief when, when it's about like, you know, the governing body being always right and all that stuff. I cannot suspend my disbelief with this. I get that. Even with nepotism, even with nepotism, fucking like you could, you could have been like, she could have been the cousin of like a Trump, right? 
and she wouldn't have made enough money. Like that, that's that's not. And I'm I'm just choosing Trump because like he's like a big real estate guy in New York, right? Like not because I think he's like like a like a good savvy businessman, but you know he does have like that. That's what he does. Like that, that's the one thing that he does, like real estate in New York. So even if if she knew Trump and like she worked for him like and and, and she was like nepotism then into it, she would not get this apartment this nice with just like a, less than a year worth of part time work on real estate. No. Yeah, can you put the lemons in the water? Okay. Hey guys, Brother William is going to be here any minute, okay? Okay. And Anna and her friend from the North Congregation are supposed to come too, right? Yep, that's the plan. Your 6.77k friends, Annie, we, ju we just don't need to come to your house, lol. That, that is true. And, you know, even though you don't need to come to, our, to my house, you do come to my house, like, every time that I stream, because, like, this is... I don't really set up like the only thing that I set up within the live stream is just like I open up the the window over here so I get like a little bit of light over here and then I put this. But this is this is just this is my this is my office and this is my home and this is where I spend literally most of my waking hours. So, you know, in a way, you are already here in my house. Hey, Brother Williams. Hi, Tina. Come on in. How are you? Good. It's good to see oh, you. Look Brother at Williams, that fit. Thanks for coming. Up. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. That is bad. Jesus Christ. And right now, like, you keep, like, aesthetic clothes and all of that stuff are, are coming back, right? But, like, like, the, the way, like, the belt goes, like, up over here, you know, like, and then down even to, to frame an almost like non-existent belly, just like to give him like an extra belly, just because, you know, he wanted to like do this a little bit. And, and like the, the ill-fitting like shirt, like with the extremely outdated print that is way too similar to like the khakis. Oh, this is how we're going to dress in paradise. Oh, verse. Thanks for the invitation. Very nice. Welcome. Hi, Gloria. Hi, Brother Williams. I think I get lost in this big apartment. Well, yeah. Jehovah blessed us for our hard work. Mm. <laughs> really, it just means longer hours on the job and more work around the house. Mm. You know, the other day in field service, we passed by your old house. I like that place. I remember our nice visits there. I do too. That yeah. was a great place. Yeah. Well, what a fucking asshole. <laughs> what a fucking asshole. If I if I if I move to a new place, especially a new place that I like more, and somebody comes over and I'm like, I, hey, you know, this is this is a new house, and and they're like, I get lost over here. You know, I like your older your older house better. I'll be like, then go go over there, get the fuck out, like just just go over there. I I don't I don't want to. You don't have to be here. You know, like get the fuck out. Like you don't like my house. You don't have to be in my house. You idiot. Like. What is this? Jesus Christ. Like, what an asshole. Like, but again, this is, he's considered to be like, not just the voice of reason, but like the voice of like Watchtower. Tina, do you want to show Brother Williams around while I finish the coffee? Oh, okay, come on in. Brother Williams likes the old place. Seems like he likes here too. Who gives a shit what he likes? He doesn't live it, neither in the old place nor in the new place. So who gives a shit is what I would say. I mean, he doesn't live there, right? He, and in fact, if everything goes goes right, he's going to be out of here very soon. Like the soonest I can. So don't worry. He likes the older place. He can have it. We don't even live there anymore. It all seems very nice. What do you think of this place, Tina? Well... Honestly, I wish we never left the other place. Really? Why do you feel that way? Because I'm spiritual. Everything's so different here. Everything has to look good for you to fit in. You have to wear the nicest clothes. You have to drive the most expensive car. You have to wear the nicest clothes. Don't you remember? How the how fancy and the how nice the clothes were of the Jehovah's Witness couple who who Gloria saw like the other very fancy apartment. 
That's why I made a big deal about it. Because I remember that she was like, oh, no, here they wear the most fanciest clothes. You don't, Jehovah's Witnesses don't even know what fancy clothes are if, if they, if they like, knock them over the head with them. Like, it just, it, they, they would not know what fancy clothes are even if the governing body approved them. Like, they, just, they would not know what fancy clothes are. Like that, and to prove it, they they literally showed a Jehovah's Witness couple. They're like, this is nicest clothes. This is, you have, you're wearing, this is your nicest clothes, obviously. Like, when you wear your nicest clothes is when you look like Jehovah's Witness. Everything's, it's just, it's just different. That's all. Yeah. You know, I understand. I was about your age when we moved into a new neighborhood. And it can certainly be challenging. But you know what might help? If you set a new goal. Okay, like what? Well, what do you think? What interests you? What interests you? A goal. Keep in mind, there are right and wrong answers. The right answers are, you know, like Bethel and like uh, uh, pioneering, uh, learning uh, a new and uh, 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 sign language because because you, because you want that D. You know, those are those are good. If they, it, it, they don't have anything to do with the cult, those are bad. Like that is the wrong option. But obviously, she already says that she 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 liked the older house, even though this new house is nicer. So she's very spiritual. She's probably gonna gonna give the right answer. Well, I was thinking of learning a new language. Really, that's an excellent goal. What do you think of Ricky learning sign language? Oh, I think it's really exciting. I do too. You know, he is really making the truth his own, and if he keeps on applying himself. Jehovah God is going to really bless him. Yeah. I was with, hoping to you see know. Anna. Is Anna here? Waste. Oh, she's with Kevin. Kevin? Kevin who? Kevin's one of our relatives. Kevin, what the fuck do you care? Kevin, you don't, you shouldn't give a fuck. She's just not here. Like Jesus, he keeps asking for explanations and they're like, oh, we have to give it to him because he's the, I mean, he's the representative of Watchtower. It's just, oh my God, Jesus Christ. They work together at a pharmaceutical company. He's a pretty nice guy and from a nice family too. And look, look at the guilty face. Like, yeah, I know my sister shouldn't be hanging out with her cousin who isn't a Jehovah's Witness. Like even like looking down, ashamed and everything because she's spiritual. She feels ashamed. She, she knows that this is a shameful thing. Tina, are you okay? Mm-hmm. How do you think Anna's doing? What the fuck? The fuck? He asked the parents, hey, how is Anna doing? And then he turned over to the daughter and he's like, how about you? How do you think Anna is doing? This is, this is just, this is a huge boundary. Like, this guy, this guy would not be in my house. Like, I just, I would have kicked this guy out of my house so many times already. <laughs> Um, she's, she's going through different things right now. We invited her friend and over they just the have to sit. They just to... have to sit there while he just interrogates everybody. Maybe encourage her. That's nice. But you know, I have to commend you because you're doing so well spiritually, keeping up with your spiritual routine. And you think about learning a new language so you can help out. Keep up the good work. Don't give up. But Tina, we're not going to give up on your sister. Give up? She has a Give potential. up? She's hanging out with her cousin. Obviously, if you're not around for the visit of the of the circuit overseer, that's bad. But we're not going to give up on you. Being a fine servant of Jehovah. And she has a good heart. I'm confident that in time, she's going to make the right decision. Williams, here's your coffee. Thank you. Sorry, Brother Williams, I have to finish getting ready. Oh. This looks really Sorry. good. Good job. Sorry that I have to go to a different house, a different room in my house. Jesus Christ, exactly. It, major uh, God complex, this guy say Aiken Aiken Peg. Exactly. Really? Thanks. Hey, we're still behind schedule, though, so I'm going to have to ask you to work overtime with the rest of the team just till we get caught up, okay? But I can't tonight. I have a family dinner I have to go to. 
dinner. Anna, if you want to be successful, work needs to come first. Everyone else is doing it. See, even at even at work, they they coerce people with Jehovah's Witness stuff. Everybody else is doing it. Therefore, you have to do it too. When in reality, when you have a, 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 a good work environment, you, you don't have to deal with this shit. You don't have to deal with this shit. Like you have your work hours and then maybe you do long hours because, you know, she's in the verge of like discovering this like treatment that can help a lot of people. So I would guess that if I was in the verge of the, like, you know, this, uh, discovering that, I would also, you know, pull off long hours because I'd be very into that shit, right? But but no, like he's like, no, no, no everybody's doing it. That's how that works. Um, we're Jehovah's Witness also. I mean, Hi. we're not, but uh, I'm just your cousin, but uh, we work in the same ways. Yeah. I'll text my mom until I can't make it. Good. Don't worry. She'll understand. It's not my mom I'm worried about. It's my dad. He doesn't want me working late anymore. Fine. Um, I'll cover for you. We're all working late anyways, so I'll give everyone a ride home, and afterwards we'll step in for a few minutes, and I'll explain that's all my fault. Okay? Okay. Her? having to do her job and to pull off like long hours one time is such a big deal that the guy is like, yeah, no, I know that this is a big deal. I'll apologize to your father. Even though you look like you're like, I don't know, like, like at least 18, right? Like you have a job. Why would, why would, why would somebody have to apologize to like your parents from work? Again, am I too like, Mexican to understand, I don't get it. So does this mean we're gonna meet those uptight parents of yours? They're not that uptight. I'm kidding, lighten up. Hey, Anna's family is pretty conservative, so just be careful what you do say. <laughs> this should be interesting. Tess, just be nice, okay? She says, the guy is like, listen, like, yeah, but they are kind of assholes, so you know, just, just don't offend them. Like, that's how they get introduced. And and they're like, um, oh, I guess we'll want to try. Like, that's that's worldly people just looking to offend uh, Jehovah's Witnesses at any point because obviously Jehovah's Witnesses find so many things offending. Like, you know, what we'll see what Jehovah's Witnesses find offending. I had a really good time tonight. I'm glad Brother Williams could make it. Yeah, it was pretty nice. Yeah, I think he had a good time too. Yeah. Oh. Anna's at home. Hi. Hey. It's customary to take our shoes off, so. Oh, okay. Hey, Kevin's here too. Come on in, guys. Um, I know Kevin, but who are your friends, Anna? Oh yeah, mom, dad. This oh, these are more uh worldly people in the house. Where, how are your friends about uh, these worldly people? <laughs> Jesus, I remember when I went. Like I didn't go to a, like a, a lot of worldly uh, homes, right? Like I I remember just going to like a couple because I just had to because for school or whatever, and I remember feeling so weirded out because everybody just treated me like the most normal way possible. Like everybody just treated me like the 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 the, the, the times that I was like with with my with the the parents of like my 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 not my coworkers but like my my school schoolmates, right? When I went to like their homes, which again was just a couple of times, they just treated me with like very kindly. Like they didn't interrogate me whatsoever. They just asked me, you know, like normal shit, like what cartoons I liked and if I liked, you know, the sandwiches that they were gonna make because they were gonna make the sandwiches because you know we were like in in junior high school or whatever, and they just treated me like I was their son pretty much. You know, like they treated their son, which was like again, like, like pretty normal. Not like, oh, they kissed me and hugged me and like what? No, they just treated me normally. They gave they gave me space. They gave me respect, and they they gave me food when it, it you know they they treated me like so nice and and, and with so much respect if, that that I was almost like I was it I was not used to it. I remember feeling like, oh man, this is this is kind of weird. <laughs> you live like this with like all of this like. Freedom <laughs> and shit. Like, how how do you live like like it was very nice. So for Jehovah's Witnesses to like uh, be like, oh no, it's actually worldly people who are who are uh, rude when they visit your house. No, no, it's not. 
you always want to start rude to you when you visit their house and you're not one of them. They're like, ah, hi. So um, uh, uh, who are you? What do you believe in? Like, it's just, it's the worst. This is Tess and Eric. We're in the same intern program. Nice to meet you all. Come on in and have a seat. Anna, come here. Um, would you like something to eat or drink? Yeah. Anna, you missed dinner with Brother Williams tonight. And your friend from the North Congregation, she came too. What happened? That, I know, but we had to work. You missed dinner with the circuit overseer. I'm a wet blanket. I need to, I need to whine about it. What happened? Look late. I sent mom a text. Anna, I was trying to do something spiritually encouraging for the family. Spiritually encouraging. We're worried about you, honey. Okay, dad, I'm sorry, but... We're worried about you, honey. Like, why does he have such a weird face? I'm, I'm not making fun of... I'm not making fun of the dude. I'm making fun of the character, all right? I will make fun of, like, all of these people's characters because characters are not real. Characters are fine. I'm sure that they themselves are lovely people. I, I just want to throw that out there. I'm not making fun of, like, the people themselves. They're portraying characters. I'm making fun of their characters. And look at the weird face that this guy cho chose for his character. Just, like, he's like, I'm just going to almost close one eye, but, like, really open the other Anna, one. To look, like, to look, like, very normal. Like, like I look very, like, I, I look not nothing like an unhinged person. Like, I look actually the furthest away from unhinged, I, I, I reckon. I do something spiritually encouraging for the family. We're worried about you, honey. Okay, Dad, I'm sorry, but it's no big deal. Yeah, it's no big deal. Just, just that the dinner. new medication we're working on, it goes to market soon. It's really important. It could save people's lives. No big deal. Anna, first of all, you know only God's kingdom will solve our problems. First of all, you know you're an idiot for trying to save people's life. lives right now. You fucking twat. Only God's kingdom, the paradise, is going to solve people's problems by killing almost everybody. You know that shit. Jesus Christ. And exactly, as Alicia Bell says, this is definitely the time for this conversation while everyone is there. Exactly. Like, this cannot wait. Like, she, her, her, her work uh, uh, mates are within earshot. Jesus, mother flipping Christ. These kids, your work... It's getting in the way of what's most important. Dad, these kids are on my team and they understand what I'm working on. The brothers don't. It's way over their heads. Anna, don't you see? They're changing you. Would you relax? Just go talk to them, okay? They're changing you. You used to only be for Jehovah's Witness stuff and now you're interested in saving people's lives? Where is this coming from? Satan? You know, I really wanted to apologize to both of you. It's my fault that Anna's late today. I asked the entire team to work overtime so we could get caught up on schedule. I really apologize about Anna not being able to meet the circuit overseer. The circuit over... Oh my God, that was so shameful for me as well. I understand and agree on the importance of her meeting, the, uh, having dinner at her home with the circuit overseer jesus all right come on but just to let you know she's doing really good and we really do enjoy having her on the team okay thank you you know not just that she's working with some good people tess and eric they're some of the best up and coming talents we have in the field you're they really wanted like the 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 worldly uh woman because because he calls them like kids right but they're they're working on medication. So, like, they're not children, right? <laughs> like, he just he's just infantilizing her. Like, but they're not children. Like, she has a job and a job that could save people's life. But he's like, these kids you're hanging out, you're hanging out with. No, but th the direction for the for the for the women kid was clearly be, be as smug as possible, even if you can't speak. So she's just like, mm. Oh, yeah. We are some of the best. Oh, my God. Parents must be really proud of you. Well, my moms are both really proud of me. I was raised by two wonderful women. You know, life partners. Oh. 
Yeah. Um, you know, my assistant, Marty, I recently found out that he's gay. You say that like there's something wrong with it. Yes, there is something wrong with it. Did you not see the, the, the look of the guy? He's like, what? We have somebody in our house who has homosexual mommies, two mommies. This is horrible. This is like in that Caleb and Sophia video when, when Sophia find out that some people have two mommies. Like, no, she's finding out that some people have two mommies and she's working with her. Ew, icky. I am extremely homophobic, so homophobic that I will even be against the people that hom that, that, that homosexuals adopt. Icky. Jesus, they can't, they can't, they can't stop being like homophobic for like one sec. Like, they can't be normal, you know? Like Jehovah's Witnesses cannot be normal. Like they're trying here, they're trying to be normal and they cannot be normal. Do you have a problem? Tess, don't do this. Why? There's nothing wrong with being gay. Tess, don't do this. If they want to be uh, uh, hom homophobic against your mom, uh, your moms, you have to let them. Don't do that. You have to let them be homophobic to you, Tess. is the only way forward. Tess. We live by the Bible's moral standards, but we don't force our beliefs on other people and we don't judge anyone either. But you do think being Yeah, we don't judge anyone either. We were judging you. I have been judging you as you could see in my face since the moment you, you said it. And now my whole behavior has changed and because, because my whole vision of who you are has changed. But we don't judge people. That's not judging because judging would be different so not judging gay is wrong eric remember where we're at well we believe remember it. where we're at like like they have to like respect homophobes just because you know they're the parents of your co-worker like what the fuck no 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 you don't have to respect homophobes you can you can you can you can uh you can respect them, but you don't have to respect their views. That is the important part. You can have you, you you should respect everybody. You don't have to respect their views. Again, if Jehovah's Witnesses are against this, just just turn it back to Jehovah's Witnesses. It, 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 just, just be like, okay, Jehovah's Witnesses think that the only thing bad about like homosexuality, you don't you don't hate the homosexual, you hate homosexuality, right? So how would it feel if I was if I was like, oh, I don't I don't hate you, I just hate the fact that you're a Jehovah's Witness, like. Would that be judging or would, I, I, am I loving? Am I loving if I tell you that thing or, or, or am I judging you? There are standards of right and wrong that we should live by. And God's word says that sex is meant to be between a man and a woman who are married to each other. Look, I don't mean to be rude, sir, but the world has changed. Honey. Exactly. People don't talk like this. This conversation would never happen because they're homophobic. They make it a conversation. Yeah, Sarah, they, they, this conversation would literally never happen. Like, Everybody would have to be would have to have internalized homophobia for for this conversation to happen. Like it's just it's crazy. Maybe we're being too harsh on gays. Some people just seem to be programmed that way. Yes. Look, I know not everyone agrees with us, but we all have free will, and God lets us choose to live by His standards or not. If we go against His standards, we end up hurting ourselves. He just wants what's best for us. Anna, what about you? Do you agree with your father? This is this is my weed yard. Wait, what? Well, you know, we actually have another project due tomorrow. It's probably best that we get going. Oh, damn. Wait, at least let me walk you guys outside. We have another project due tomorrow. Aren't you all working in like the one project that is going to be released out in the market soon? Like. Why are people writing this so stupid? Like, I, there's literally no continuity in the dialogue. Like, it's it's so stupid. Why can't you just, why can't you just figure, like, set up a, a story of what they're working on, even though it's not going to be in the drama. You just set up a story of what they're working on. So, you know, you can write dialogue according to, like, this background. It's called creative writing. That's how it works. You know, you don't have to, you don't have to believe that they're actually like working on something. You can just, you know, make believe. 
and be like, oh, I guess they're working on like this thing. So if he says something, he's not going to be like, oh, we have a, another project due tomorrow because they have the one project. Like I just established. Like, I'm, I'm just nit nit nitpicking at this point. So this is our Anna's association. They're just kids. Kids talk like they know everything. So this is Anna's association. Two guys who think that uh, gays are not that bad and a woman who is the son of gay people. Wow. Anna is in real trouble. Our Anna believes them. See, that was the, 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 the problem. That she exactly. actually thinks that, think yeah, that's actually invoices, true. Right? Mm -hmm. I gave you all the receipts, right? Gay people are fine. Just got a couple more steps. Okay, Joe. Your books are clean. I have no more concerns and... Amazingly, you're out of debt. With the help of Jehovah. Amazingly. I don't, I don't think so, man. It's, it's like you've always said. If you do things Jehovah's way, right, he'll help us. Hey, um, I got to go. Um, you've got everything that you need. I think it looks good. So I, I'm just going to leave, okay? Oh, oh, and look, Joe already has the uh, the the Jehovah's Witness style like down pat. He has like the super like pretty much like military haircut that is like so good with Jehovah's Witness, like super short at the sides and like very short at the front. And, and then he even like pulls it back like from his face in like just the, like the one direction. Just every single hair has to be going like just one direction only because more directions and you're gay. And he has like the polo, the, 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 the very like nice uh, iron polo to go out because when you're not, when you're not in, um, uh, in, in Jehovah's witness activities, like this is he, he, the, the clean shaven, like everything, everything is he just, he's just like a, a full Jehovah's witness. All right. Okay. Hey, Hey Brian, um, could you stick around for another minute? There's something I need to talk to you about. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, thanks. I'm going to get into your business now. Look, Brian, I owe you a huge debt of gratitude, man. Um, I was thinking back on when we first started studying. You remember that? I had all sorts of issues with my life, my, my family, my business, and my whole life was messed up. And, and, and one of the things that you always talk to me about was Matthew 6, 24. Remember that? No one can serve two masters. You cannot slay for God and for riches. I'm sorry, Joe. I'm not getting it. What are you trying to say? Well, I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm concerned about you. About me? Yes. Yes, about you and your family. And I'm not talking about financially. Right? I'm talking about spiritually. I mean, you're the one expectations of me. And now it seems like, like you're the one who's doing that. Well, man, what are you talking about, Joe? Ryan, your whole life is changing, man. And not for the... Yeah, Joe is really putting the Joe in Jehovah's Witnesses right now with, it, with, with this look and this. I'm going to get into your business to make sure that you are following the cult and the cult only. Better. Look, it, it's written all over your face. Listen... You have no idea how much pressure Gloria is putting on me. You don't know what it's like to try to balance two lives, two worlds, and try to make it work. You don't know what it's like. You don't know what it's like to try to slave to two masters and try to make it work. You don't know what that's like. I am I'm, I'm, I'm suffering because, because Gloria has a successful career and that impacts me in, in, in like no way, except, you know, having to move to a nicer house. I'm suffering now. Gee, oh my God, what a fucking like annoying, whiny, wet blanket of a man. Oh man, you're, you're right. You're right. I don't know what that's like. So don't tell me about not changing for the better. Ryan, 
All I know is what you taught me. And what you taught me was good, man. It, it's good. You made me look at myself, my, my family, my whole situation. And I had to ask myself, do, do I really know God? Am I truly happy? I mean, what you taught me, Brian, it, it gave me something new, the new world. It opened that up to me. It gave me and Mary and the kids, it gave us all something to live for, Brian. It gave us the paradise. This is made up thing that's nowhere in the Bible, actually. It gave us... He gave us this thing, this hope that if we repress ourselves and we live according to Jehovah's Witness standards for some reason, and we let the governing body, just a group of old men in New York, lead the way that we live our lives in a way that they can't even live their own lives. I, I believe that we'll make it to paradise one day. And also, I believe I can come like and literally any time. And if I if I if I if I'm falling short, like I will not make it. My life's better like that. But now when, when I look at you, my, my teacher, my brother, my friend, all I see is an unhappy man. So I, I thought it'd be a, yeah, he's a kind whiny thing bitch. to help you the way you helped me. Brian, I made those changes in my life, the repairs that you helped me to make. So I just thought you could use a little reminder yourself. Because frankly... You're not the same person that I once knew. Man, I gotta go. Why can't they be more specific? Why is this guy unhappy? Other than, you know, his wife is doing better. Jesus Christ. Next time on. Yeah, exactly. He's so mad that after meddling in his daughter's lives, he's now having this guy meddling in his. Exactly, Alicia. Exactly. Fuck me. Is that... Is this not... I thought this was the last one. Oh, no. There's another one. We have to react to this. Uh, we, we literally have to, like, go to, like, uh, a place later. But, like, it's fine. Rindala, I, I saw Rindala on the on the chat for a while. She's... She's probably she probably wants us to like keep going with this life. She she wants us. Like I'm doing this for her. Like this is this is for her. But I already made like 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 we, we already had like a five dollar donation. You know, like I need to keep going. Obviously, like I, I'm making money. This is this is work. Previously on, remember the wife of Lot. I'm going to real estate classes. What? We didn't talk about this. Why? If you made more money, I wouldn't have to. Glory, wait. I've decided something. What is it? To start studying the Bible together. You mean you want to become a priest? Come on, Rick. It's Jehovah's Witnesses, isn't it, Dad? What are you trying to say? All I see is an unhappy man. You have no idea how much pressure Gloria is putting on me. I'm not the same person that I once knew. Everybody squeeze in, smile. What kind of phone is that? Oh, that's nice. It was time for something new. Actually, we got many new things. Mm. We even got a new piano for Anna. Oh, nice. I forgot about this. Oh, right. So have some dessert, okay? Thank you. Hey, Brian. Hey. I've invited some relatives for dinner. Yeah, so I see. Are you hungry? Do you want some? Oh, Look at the face. Oranges. Oh, thank you. Hey, okay, let's go. Wait, wait a minute. Hold, hold, hold on. Gloria, why did you arrange this without telling me? Well, oh, what? Oh, oh, what? What? You don't like when people invite invite people over to your house without telling you? You don't like that? It's 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 not nice, you say. Well, don't do that shit. We just know we we know for a fact that you do this shit. If you do this shit, your wife is allowed to do the same shit. Jesus, how hypocritical and misogynist! Like I was like, no, maybe this is just this is just like a cultural thing, or you you know, like this is just I am very particular in my own house or whatever the fuck. No, 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 no. This is just misogyny. The man can invite whoever he wants at the house, whenever he wants, without checking with his wife. But if his wife does the same, he's like, no, you, how dare you do this without me, actually? I am going to take offense because they're not even Jehovah's Witnesses. Jesus Christ. 
Thank you so much uh, to Lauren for five big ones. Uh, thank you for your sacrifice, Rindaram. And to Simply Lore, my uh, Belgian waffle. Uh, all right. Here's my little contribution. Two bucks. Uh, two, two, not two bucks. Two, uh, two uh, British, not British, uh, European bucks. So thank, you, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Bye. This is good. Come on, this is good. This is good. I mean, it's not like men, 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 men. You know, that, that's really good. But this isn't that bad. This isn't as bad as the rest of the show, is what I'm saying. Why did you arrange this without telling me? I thought it would be nice to have a family dinner. But none of them are in the truth. How See? else are you going to witness to them? They're only here to socialize. They're not here to talk about Jehovah. Come on, Brian. They're family. Let's go. This motherfucker. The guy is like, I invited my friend, the circuit overseer, without even letting you know. Without even letting you know. But he's like, this, this family of you, you invited this family of yours, and they're here to socialize? Instead of talking about our cult, I'm a wet blanket. I, I'm going to nag about it. Jeez, come on. Go and talk. Uh, is, is your mother okay? <laughs> She's fine. Hey, Henry. Hey. Well, I'll let you guys talk. Okay. Hello, Henry. How are you? Okay. We haven't seen much of you lately. Yeah, well, we've been pretty busy. Busy? Well, I can tell you spend a lot of time with your church, but how it does, we felt really left out. Hey guys. Hey. And the dude is like, here we go again. My family, the family of my wife, who is my family, by the way, that's how it works. This is your family, not just, you know, the family of the wife you met. You marry into the family. That's how it works, right? This is your family. And he's like, oh, here we go again. My family. Saying that I spend way too much time in the cult and that we never hang out. Oh, typical. Jesus, what a what a what a whiny bitch. Serious. We have other relatives who are Christians. I mean, they really spend time with us during holidays. Henry, as I've explained before, when we became witnesses, there are just certain practices we don't want to compromise on. Our beliefs are very important to us. Between that and, and work, we really do have busy schedules. Well, speaking of work, um, I'm out of work at this moment. Yeah, and and, and you're not even you're not even uh, uh, the the circuit overs. If you were the circuit overs, oh man, you would I I would invite you like whenever. You, I wouldn't even tell my wife that I'm inviting you. But it, but you're a worldly person, so I'm just gonna say that I just don't have time for you. And and you know just just come up with like excuses because the truth is I don't hang out with you because you are not part of my cult. And my cult doesn't like it when I hang out with people who are not part of my cult. I can't say that though. So I'm gonna be like, oh, have, we have word schedules, word schedules and uh, reasons. I'm sorry to hear that, Henry. So if you hear of any job openings, I mean, I've got a lot of experience. Would you excuse us for a moment? Of course. I guess well, the dude like ran out of like, well. like the dude, it, I. I guess the dude is like, oh, you know, I don't have, I don't have a, a job right now because I was in this very risky thing that didn't pay off. So, and, 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 you know, that's supposed to be bad because, you know, right now he's temporarily out of a job. The dude's barely making, the dude was barely making any money and that was seen as a good thing. But like when, when something fails and it, you're worldly, then that's just, that's just because, you know, you're, you're with Satan. Congratulations on your hard work with my company. Thank you, Uncle. But do not forget, it's not just your hard work that has given you all this. Yes, Uncle. I understand. And thank you for everything. Then you must not let me down. What do you mean, Uncle? I am talking about your priorities. What about them? You must learn to keep your religion in its place. Of course, you can have your God. But it must not interfere with what's most important in your life your relatives and your career.
This is not how people in the world is, 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 is do it. Like that, that's not how people in the world talk. They're not like, listen, you can have your religion, but you have to worry about what's important. This job. That's not, that's not a thing. That's how Jehovah's Witnesses talk. So they project themselves to be like, oh, this is what, what an asshole would say. What do we say? Jesus, come on. Your religion gets in the way of what's expected of you. Well, Uncle, I understand how important these things are to you and to all of my relatives. But as I explained to you before, when I became one of Jehovah's Witnesses, spiritual things also became very important to me. Yes, and I've never agreed with your choice, have I? No. And yet I've given you this job. I helped you get this beautiful apartment because the way you live reflects on me. It's funny because he wouldn't have done that if he was a Jehovah's Witness and she wasn't. She wouldn't have done, he wouldn't have done that. So he's behaving in a better way right now that he's a worldly person. He's like, listen, I, I even like, I respected you with your religion more than you respect would have respected me if we were in like in opposite uh, positions, you know? You know that since your father passed away, I've taken the responsibility as family head towards you as well as your mother and your brother. Have you forgotten all I have done for you? Hey, Jake, we're watching your favorite drama. I do remember. Then you must serve my company and work hard for me. See, this is, this, is family, Je this is Jehovah's Wit this is Jehovah's Witness logic. Oh, you appreciate this? Then you must serve me and my company. No, this is not what, what normal people say. This is what Jehovah's Witnesses say. Oh, you appreciate this? Then you must serve Jehovah and his company. I mean, religion. That is, that's Jehovah's Witness rhetoric right there. This must be your priority. You must make me proud. Remember what I've said to you. You can lose all this very easily. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. Good. How could she lose all that? Like she already, she already made a down payment to that place, and she's a real estate agent, and she's selling her older house. She, what? Like she's a real estate agent. We have to assume that she already sold the the other apartment, and then. Like that was before she did the down payment, so she has like all of this like cushion of the the worth of the other apartment to like keep paying for this apartment even if things go bad, right? Jesus, like again, this this uh, how did I call it in a in a recent video? Jesus Christ, like I have, I can't even remember like my own references. Uh, when you when you consider that everything you know could be could be could be the worst. Ever like uh, uh, cat catastrophization. This catastrophization is typical of Jehovah's Witnesses. Like, hey, you know this this could all end tomorrow because you could die tomorrow in Armageddon if you don't play your cards right. So they're just they. This is just them speaking their rhetoric out loud, but like with villains, you know, because it, it it's almost like you kind of have to admit that your rhetoric is like really, really, really bad if it fits right at home with like the main villain of your story, right? Like, I feel I, I, there, 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 there is something there. There's something there. Catastrophizing. That's, that's what I say. Catas catastrophizing. Catastrophization. Mom, why are you reading a medical book? I'm reading about my problem. Problem? What problem? Pain in my back. You didn't tell me you have any pain. Oh. I called you three times, but you didn't answer. Mom, I didn't see any calls from you. I wouldn't need to call you if you would visit me. I hardly see you anymore since you moved here. Mom, I came by only three days ago. One day, you'll come by and find me on the floor, not breathing. I want you to take me to the doctor. Go ahead and laugh. Are you going to follow his instructions this time? At this rate, I may not be around to see my granddaughters get married. Mom, listen, we're going to see doctor tomorrow. Okay. Such a fucking misogynist, like a way of speaking. Again, this is written by somebody who is not just a misogynist, but who hates the mother-in-law. So the mother-in-law is clearly trying to be like, hey, like to inject herself like more into, into the, the family's life. 
by by arguing health, right? By being like, you know, I have a lot of like health problems. I need you to take me to the doctor. Can't like I, I'm afraid that I won't live for like too long, right? And the writer is like, yeah, you know, that's what those bitches say. Like they they just nag like that. Just you know, you know how 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 annoying mother-in-laws are. Like, oh my god. Gloria, when you were little, my mom used to live with us. And later, your father's mother, too. Remember that? Yes. My apartment is not like this. Big and warm. Mine is cold and drafty, you know. I think that's why I have this pain. Oh, come on, Mom. See, the worst. The, the, wor the nightmare for, for Wet Blanket. Because Wet Blanket obviously hates his mother-in-law. And now his mother-in-law is saying that she's sick and she wants them to take care of her. Oh, ew. No, she's not even a Jehovah's Witness. I have this pain. Oh, oh she wants to move in with us. Hey. Hey. Oh, Brother Williams' next visit uh -huh. is the third week of March. It's the same week of the memorial. Hmm. So make sure you put that in your calendar. Okay. Hey, hey, circuit overseer. Put it in your calendar when he's coming. The circuit over the circuit overseer. It's March. Or right, right, right in the week in the memorial. He's coming. Make sure. Did you put it on your calendar? It is very important. <laughs> Come on. Oh, I have a big showing on the same day as Memorial. It's the new property I'm going to ask me to handle. The, the day of the Memorial. You know you're not supposed to do anything the day of the Memorial. You're just supposed to work for the cult and, like, get ready at home for several hours the day of the Memorial. That's what you're supposed to do. Preferably... If you're in good standard, like even prepare the bread. That's the only thing we, the day of the, mem you have work. The day of the memorial. How would you make it if you have work at work hours and the day of the memorial, the memorial is is after after sunset, like at night. The day of the, mem Jesus, yeah. come on. Uh, but it's okay. I, I can get Mari to cover for me once I sit up. Exactly. You, you can work in sure Memorial the that. same day. Yeah, I will. All right. Hey, what were you and Uncle talking about on the balcony tonight? Okay. All right. Fuck it. I get you. That's it. Like it's just the dude is a whiny asshole who just who just mills himself and like what 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 he doesn't care about. What if she was having a private conversation? Does she not have the right to like have a private conversation with her uncle slash boss? Like he has to be like, what are you talking about over there with your uncle? Were you like, were you like cheating on me? Like, what what's what's going on? What's going like just let her have private conversations and private thoughts and private, like, you know, interactions. My my Christ, it's her uncle slash boss. Like. You you have to know everything that her uncle slash boss tells her. What? And I ask this, and I point this out because this is literally how Jehovah's Witnesses react, and this is how possessive Jehovah's Witnesses are supposed to be. Because Jehovah's Witnesses are deeply misogynist. They don't believe that the woman should have any like privacy or anything. The men should have privacy. Don't ask them about like uh, their their elder meetings or whatever, because you know those those are private. Women, however, they they are not allowed to have privacy. They you, you they have to you know be able to like. Tell you everything that happened whenever, when, whenever, whenever you want to know. It's nothing. We're just talking about business. Are you sure? Because it seemed like it bothered you. Well, he's putting a lot of pressure on me. It's okay. I can handle it. Really? I mean, but can we? What do you mean? I'm just saying, look at us. Actually, Joe's. Look at us. I'm sad. For reasons. Come on, man. Like, it's just, 
it's so it and like he said, oh, you know, this apartment just means more long hours. You're supposed to be an accountant who has clients, right? And you lost a few. So uh, like that's the only thing I know about your job that that you're an accountant and you lost a few clients. You don't pull extra hours when you just when you work for clients, right? Like when you're an accountant, you how do you pull extra hours when you need more money? Like that's just if you're an accountant, that's just like embezzling or something, right? But come on. He spoke with me today. About what? Well, he's concerned about us spiritually. He feels we've become materialistic. <laughs> because we're doing better economically. Joe doesn't understand our background. And is it really wrong to try to improve our life? No, but exactly. not if it means putting anything or anyone ahead of Jehovah. But this conversation of putting people ahead of Jehovah came because... She had to work the same day of the memorial. And obviously, she's as, as Alicia Bell points out, she's not going to be able to do the photo shoot of homemade crackers for, for her Instagram to show that she is a spiritual person who has only been thinking about the memorial. And oh man, she's even, you can even bet that if you ask her, she has even read like the, the, the Bible verses that you're supposed to read in the days of the memorial. Like he, she's even done that, I bet. Like, but, but oh my God, this is the worst. I swear to God. Don't you think we need to make some sacrifices if you want nice things? We have made sacrifices, all the wrong ones. You've even had to quit pioneering. We're neglecting. Good, I thought that was your favorite drama. Well, okay. Uh, everybody, everyone say bye, Jake. Finish your video already because Caleb wants to see it. Nobody just say bye, Jake. Everyone says to finish, tell him to finish the video. I want to see his video. We need to pressure him. Have we have we learned nothing from Jehovah's Witnesses? When you want somebody to do something, you have to pressure them and nag them into doing it. it it's the spiritual way. Family worship, study, service. We've even become too busy or maybe too ashamed to even pray together. <laughs> Gloria, we're drifting apart from each other. But look at this place. It is so nice. We're drifting apart from each other. Because we don't pray as much. Dude, like, what's happening? Like, what's wrong? She's still a pioneer. She's still a, a, a Jehovah's Witness. She still makes food and shit, right? Like, it, it, the place is clean. And I don't think, like, you're the one who's cleaning it, right? Like, she handles all of that shit. You still go to bed with her every every night. It sounds like if 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 if, if you're, like, pulling away from her, that's kind of a you problem, right? Like it it sounds like like she's just busy. But like she still manages to like pull her weight in the house and even manages to uh uh provide even for the house, which is the the one thing that you do wet blanket. The, what the hell? What's going on here? I don't want to give it up. Gloria, we don't want this place if it takes us or you away from Jehovah. Besides, we haven't been able to rent out the old place yet. We have two mortgages. But more than that, Gloria, think of all we taught the girls when they were little about putting Jehovah ahead of everything else. And you need to suffer if you need if you put Jehovah ahead of everything else. <laughs> anyway, you're going to tell me, like, you're going to tell me that Gloria is such a good real estate agent that in the space of like less than a year, ish she was able to work enough in the in selling real estate and like in real estate we don't know like what which exactly she does in real estate but just in real estate she was able to like work enough to earn enough to put up a down payment for a fancy manhattan apartment but she also hasn't been able to like rent or sell the old place why are they renting that place you didn't she just sell it I, I mean, I'm just, I'm just very anti-capitalistic. I don't, I don't like landlords. But I, I mean, why are, why hasn't she been able to rent it? If she's such a good real estate agent, why is she so bad at renting her own place? Like it seems like the easiest thing you would do, right? Do you remember Brother Williams' talk a couple of years ago about not being able to serve two masters, and how Lot's wife put her home? Ahead of Jehovah. No, no, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. That was so long ago. And nobody even remembers what the latest speech was. The latest speech that somebody heard of? 
Nobody remembers what that shit was about. That, that's just that's just how it works with Jehovah's Witnesses. So don't gaslight me into thinking that Jehovah's Witnesses actually remember what a fucking circuit overseer said in a speech fucking months ago. Jesus told her story as a lesson for us. Yeah, also Lot's wife did we not We have do that. to remember the wife of Lot. We have to remember the wife of Lot. If, if you continue... Uh, earning money you will become a pillar of salt and then i'll fuck our daughters we have to remember the wife of Lot. that's what happened do you want me to fuck our daughters is that what this is about do we not have enough salt in the house have, do you not want to go to walmart it didn't have to end that way for her and it doesn't have to end that way for us Do you think we're that bad? Come here. I need to hold my hand, hold your hand, and be very uh, passive aggressive about this. I want us to get back to where we were spiritually. This guy has been doing nothing but nagging the whole fucking drama. And now he's like spiritually nagging, you know? He's he's nagging for his wife to like be be like be like okay, I I will get rid of this job and go back to the other house and live uh, worse lives than uh, the way that we were living because you because because you want it because because you think that 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 makes us more spiritual. I want you close to me again. Remember? Let's say a prayer. Okay. Let's say a prayer. I want you close to me. And now I can't have you close to me because I've been nagging all this time and I'm not gonna stop nagging unless you do what I say. Also, this is a funny thing that I've noticed with Jehovah's Witnesses. Jehovah's Witnesses never either record nor uh, like portray in a drama a prayer. I don't know why. It's just one of those things that Jehovah's Witnesses do. Like in a drama, unless like there's a prayer that it's in the Bible and like the drama the, the drama is like doing that. Or unless like they're breaking down and it's, and it's just like, Jehovah, please help me. Like something like that, right? That 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 is fine. But prayer, like with uh with um with with, with the um through Jehovah's uh, through Jesus Christ uh thing at the end. A prayer, prayer. They're not usually represented in Jehovah's Witness propaganda. I don't know why. We can turn this around. We can do it. Okay. Jehovah will help us. Okay. He's sitting here down to talk about getting back to where they were spiritually. I bet this to have been touched in years. Yes, exactly. Spiritually? How about sexually? Mm. Like now, that 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 would be would be worrying about what she needs. Because you know, not only have, have have they haven't touched in years, I think like she hasn't like been properly touched like ever, right? This dude is like, sex ends when I'm over, <laughs> when I'm done, <laughs> like that. That's it. Because I'm I'm a spiritual man. That's a that that's a spiritual that, that's sex. I, more than that is just it's just it's just like almost fornication. I'm proud of you. I'm gonna finish cleaning up. Out. A, a, a nice apartment. Really nice apartment. We have to remember the wife of Lot. It didn't have to end that way for her. And it doesn't have to end that way for us. You probably uh, whine about put, uh, her putting too much pressure on him. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah or or he'll be like he'll be like me. He'll be like the only conspiracy theory that I believe in is in is on the on the feminine orgasm. That that shit I I, I refuse to believe in that. So I was wondering, so tomorrow, Jesus what Christ, X O R pharmaceuticals. 
the Bethelite was like they got, they went to the Bethelite and they were like, okay, so you have to you have to design not just like the name of the of the company, the pharmaceutical place where she works at, but also the logo. You have four seconds. <laughs> Go. <laughs> like this is this is it. This is like four seconds worth of work. Hey, so I was Zor, pharmaceuticals, Tomorrow, what whatever. Finish? Look, Anna, we're really behind schedule, so I need to be a team player on this. Okay, when have I not been a team player? Some people on the team feel that you're getting special treatment because we're related. And I have to make sure that everyone gets treated equally. When have I ever asked for special treatment? It's your church meetings, Anna. If we're all working overtime, I can't keep covering for you so you can go while everyone else but stays. But you said when I started that it wouldn't be a problem. Look, I remember what I said. But things change, Anna. And if you want to be part of this team, you need to do your part. And that's starting now. We're working overtime every night this week till we get caught every up. Every night? I can't do that, Kevin. Tomorrow is a really important meeting. It's the memorial. I told you already. I remember, but I can't make an exception for you. But who knows? Maybe if we work hard enough, we'll get caught up and you can still go. No, no, that's not that that's not how work works. All right. Like if she has like something as big as the memorial, and he, he literally can't be like, no, I'm you can't go to your religious stuff. That is against the law. If you have a religious like thing like the memorial, or like, I don't know, like it's it's like it's like him trying to like. Uh, uh, pressure her to eat during uh, fucking Muslim fasting month. I can't, I can't, Ramadan, right? He can't do that shit. He can't do that shit. He can't do that shit. He can't force her to work extra hours if that means that it would, it would involve like her loosing up on their religion, uh, on, on something that her religion is doing because this is, people are far better. Like he's not a Jehovah's Witness. Fine. It's close to lunch. Let's grab the rest of the team and get some food and we can talk about this later. Okay? Fine. Nice haircut, by the way. Thanks. My dad doesn't like it, though. Of course. Exactly. That is a liberal violation to force people to work overtime. Exactly. Nobody can force you to work overtime. Like, you don't have to work overtime. Like, if you're doing this, you're being overworked. Like, that's get a union. You know? <laughs> that's why unions are important. But but did you, did you see that? We could talk about this later. Okay. Fine. Nice haircut, by the way. Thanks. My dad doesn't like it, though. Of course. There's something wrong with her haircut, and her haircut is supposed to be worldly some somehow. She's just she just dyed her hand like her hair like a little bit like like a like a like a like a like a brunette, right? Like she had like she had like dark hair, but she now she has like light brown hair, and pretty much the same haircut. I mean, I'm, am I, it's, it's the same haircut. She just, she just has a little bit of color on her hair because before it was just black, right? You can't have, you can't color your hair. Jesus. Hey, look at those religious fanatics over there. I bet they get along great with your strict parents. Hey, Anna. Literally, how uh, they think uh, uh, worldly people act. Hey, look at those assholes over there! I bet they 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 grow they 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 they, they will get along great with your fucking asshole parents. Again, being aggro for like no reason to both like people just uh, 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 preaching, uh, just standing next to a cart. And to and to her parents who are not even like on the on on the on the um, on the frame right now, and obviously she's gonna pretend that he she doesn't know the Jehovah's Witness and that is the ultimate um, uh, betrayal. These are the top headlines from BNC News. Death tolls continue to rise in the wake of a massive earthquake with a magnitude of eight point one that struck off the northern coast of Taiwan on Tuesday. Of course, Jehovah's Witnesses love earthquakes because they're like earthquakes are when are, are, are when Armageddon. Armageddon is when earthquakes. So obviously they're like, oh, she's listening to the news and, and we're going to make a point of filming the news being like, there things are horrible. It's almost like it's the last days, I swear to God, as, as the newsman, I, I, it's the last days. Far away is Tokyo, Japan. The resulting tsunami has caused devastation in the entire region. Meanwhile, the global financial meltdown continues to plague stocks as market prices drop drastically once again today. China's government suspended trading early in fears of a sell-off. Because these are the, the last days. Hello? Gloria. Hi. I was just catching up on where we stand. 
I'm really looking forward to helping out with this new property. Miss Marty, remember, the showing is on for tomorrow. And you can still help me out when I need to leave, right? Yes, of course. I wouldn't miss it. There's going to be a ton of big investors there. Just Why are we not sure seeing his face? On time. I have to leave once everything's set up. And this is really important to me, Marty. I'm counting on you. Absolutely. Anything for you. We we'll talk to you later. Bye. Why? Why was he filmed like that? You mean sure with Marty that he could cover? Yes, he'll be there. Well, why don't you come over? We're going to start our memorial Bible reading. Okay. Also, how much do you think it was to set up this very fancy apartment? Because this is obviously a studio, right? I bet this was very expensive, you know? Like, is it, again, this is one of those things where the the governing body and, like, people at Bethel and the higher end, like, are allowed to, like, build a fancy apartment that, or at least something that looks like a fancy apartment that Jehovah's Witnesses don't even, aren't even allowed to live in. Like, imagine showing this as the main issue of, of, of your family to, like, people in, like, the Philippines or, or like, in Africa where they're growing right now. Like, how how are people buying this shit? Okay, so we're starting with Mark chapter 14, 1. Ella. I thought you had a big day at work. I did. Then why are you home so early? I just... I'm just so ashamed of myself. Ashamed? Honey, come over here. Ashamed? Oh, wow. Now I, I can talk to you because I can shame you. I can use this low moment into, into manipulating you to go back to the religion as I want. Come over here. Anna, what are you talking about? I saw Mary and Ricky out in service today. I couldn't even acknowledge them. Mom, I don't know why I'm doing this anymore. The people I'm working with, they're not who I thought they were. And this job, it's not making me happy. And I know it's not making jobs. They're not, they're not how, 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 uh, uh, who they, who I thought they were because they're not really Jehovah's Witness and it's not making me happy. And I know it's not making Jehovah happy because it's going to save a lot of lives. And Jehovah's main goal is to, like, kill pretty much everybody. So Jehovah can't be liking this shit. Jehovah happy. Anna, you can't just quit like this. I want you to have a comfortable life so that you don't need to worry about money. You have to be successful with a secure job, and it will, it will help you to pioneer. <sighs> Imagine somebody, like, who is both so unindoctrinated that she wants uh, the, 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 the girl to like have a high paying job and be materialistic, but also, but also be so, so indoctrinated that she's like, because you'll pioneer when you, when you, when you finally achieve success in the world, like, come on, like writing is all over the place. I know you care about me. But if I keep this job, I know where it'll take me. It's changed me so much already. I want to be a success. But I want to be a success in Jehovah's eyes. I had no idea. You felt that way. Oh, that's it? That's it? Like, she's like, you have to buy it here. And she's like, Jehovah's eyes, though. <laughs> Okay, I had no idea you felt that way. Jesus. She's kind of trying to like act her best though. Like some people would say she's overacting. I am sorry. Are you sure that's what you want to do? Yes. I am so proud of you because you have the courage to do what I should have done. So what are we going to do now? We need to examine our priorities together. 
but if we make the changes that we need to, we might give up this place. Yeah, because this place is a symbol of how we're not good spiritually for, you know, reasons. We may have to give up this place because of reasons. Again, it's not like your mom isn't like ha had to like even stop pioneering or anything, right? Like there's nothing wrong. Like they just, if anything, they're, they're, they're able to pay two mortgages, apparently, because the mom is both so good uh, and so bad at, at real estate, apparently. Is that all right with everyone? Finally. I never liked this place anyway. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> I never liked this fancy place anyway, because I'm spiritual and that's not a spiritual thing. I'm the most spiritual girl. Can we at least keep the new piano? <laughs> uh, only if we do something about your hair first. <laughs> Uh, good point. <laughs> good point. What's wrong with your hair? What? Okay, okay, okay. Look, look. If you're a Jehovah's Witness and you have somehow like managed to like get on the way, like uh, watch all the way until until this place. First, thank you so much. I'm very proud of you. Second, can you please tell me what's wrong with her hair? I I honestly I I I don't remember. Women dyeing her hair being a bad thing. If anything, like women dyed her hair like for the memorial all the time in in Mexico, like where I live in. Like, is this a is this a is this a is this a, is this a United States thing? Am I just is this a new thing? Like, what's wrong with her hair? Jehovah's Witness like Jehovah's Witness wise, what's wrong with her hair? Like, I get that it's it's supposed to be worldly, but why is it supposed to be worldly? Is it just because it's like a too, too much of a of a big too much of a departure from like her usual color even though it she's wearing like a completely normal like hair color like i don't understand like she just had like black hair and now she has like light brown hair how is that bad how is that a worldly thing i i honestly it honestly blows my mind that this is a thing in this in this drama and that they, they make a point of saying yeah we need to do something about your hair What's wrong with her hair? I, I don't know. I honestly, I, I was a Jehovah's Witness for like for like almost 30 years. I don't know what's wrong with her hair. Can I help you? Hey, good morning, sir. How are you? Good, thank you. Good. My name is Joe, and this morning we're leaving this invitation with your neighbors. This is your copy. It's too a trend. It it's light brown with like I mean, it's light brown with like some blonde like like, like bits, right? Like They've been, they've been dying that they've been using like they've been dying the hair like that for for like fucking decades right like how is that too trendy like i'm even a little bit gay myself when it comes to fashion i don't understand it here okay thank you okay director williams this is a nice surprise i haven't seen you since you were overseeing our division donald i didn't know this was your home yeah but i mean what brings you here well i've changed careers really yes you must have gotten a really good offer you know donald i finally found a far better career and something more important. Really? If you have a moment, I'd love to tell you. Yeah, about would it. you guys like to come in for some coffee oh, or something? Absolutely. Oh my God, come on. Come on. Are you kidding me? Sec this is the second time, the second time that we've seen somebody preach door to door. And obviously, since it's Brother Williams, and since it is the, uh, the, the circuit overseer, the holy circuit overseer, He has the absolute best time uh, indoctrinating somebody. So much that even Joe is like, what? Well, that's how you do when you're a circuit overseer. You're this good when you're a circuit overseer. Huh? She says, it's just, again, this interaction with a Jehovah's Witness and, and, somebody, and, a, and somebody at their door has never, ever, ever, ever happened. Yeah, yeah, sure. Please come in. Thank you. Morning. Hello. Okay, uh, what are you guys going to sell me today? Nothing, sir. We have an invitation for you. It's uh, to a special event tonight. Okay, sure. Thanks. Uh, hey, aren't you Arthur Gomez? Yeah, Joe's boy. And you must... Mother... I Isn't this New York? Fucking everybody knows everybody? No, how come everybody knows everybody, but nobody knows where anybody lives? And so they just keep knocking in doors and be like, 
you live here? I know you uh, because obviously I know everybody who I knock on doors. I just, I just don't know where people live, right? Like I just, I know everybody, but I, I have no idea where they live. Be his wife, um, Mary. Mary, that's right. I'm sorry. Have we met before? Oh yeah, sorry. You probably wouldn't remember me, but I used to work with Joe. Mm. Yeah, and he would always show us pictures of the boys and talk about you guys all the time. I could tell he was really proud of his family. It's really nice of you to say, sir. Yeah, Joe, he changed so much. I remember when I first started working with him, he had this temper and he would just lose it over the smallest thing. But then he really started changing. I guess he said it was what he learned from the Bible. Well, from you guys, right? Actually, you'd be surprised. It was Joe who first suggested that we study the Bible as a family, not us. Really? Yeah. Okay, this I've got to hear. Do you ever really regret Oh this my God, a third completely unrealistic scenario because you're, he's like, oh yeah, no, I know who you are. And you know, Joe said that he changed a lot. I guess he said it was because of his religion. Anyway, uh, he never uh, indoctrinated me, but you can, if, if you wanna, do you wanna come in and, uh, can I just get baptized already? Come on. Made to, uh, you know, leave your career and start pioneer? Absolutely not. My only regret is that I hadn't started sooner. Sounds really nice. Thanks, Anna. What? Is that is her lesson again? My hair? Tina helped me fix it yesterday. It's fine, Anna. Fix it how? You just you just dyed it. Fix it. Fix it. Again, you just went back to wearing dark, like black hair. Fix it. I need to know what's wrong with her hair. Uh, like I absolutely need to know what thing that I don't understand. Sorry, I, I got I got You're caught careful. up. You know that? Why are you getting all sentimental? Um, last night when I told you I was proud of you, I meant it. Thank you. I should have never pushed you into that internship. I was pressuring you the way my mother tried to pressure me. It's okay, mom. I know you just want what's best for me. I do, but I was setting a bad example for you. You don't need a prestigious job to pioneer. You just needed something appropriate to help you make a living. But yes, and suffer. I left out the most important. Suffer, that's important. Your job's too comfy? Mm -mm -mm. You need to suffer. You need to suffer to be spiritual. What's that? Remember to rely on Jehovah, and he will always help us. Before this job, when I was pioneering, we always had enough. If we put Jehovah first... I love this. Before this job, we never died. We never died before this job. So, you know, that's because that Jehovah, you know, that we haven't died. He will help us no matter what. Anna, everything comes at a cost. What is this shit? What is this shit? 1999? Why, why is this buffering? We're... We're at 2340. I'm going to refresh this because just... We're watching from JW.org and they and they, they have a pretty, a pretty shitty website, honestly. There's very little left for Jehovah. You made the right decision. Thank you. This drama should should have really played it out by adding more and more silence in the background to show how worldly they were getting. That, that, they wouldn't have done that because that, that would have been cinema right there. That would have been, would have been filmmaking. They don't do that shit. They just, they just, they just, they just put on a camera, on a tripod and then press on, press on record. That's it. That would have been, that would have been really cool. If, if, they had put uh, like a little bit of thought into like this. If they had had like any like uh, artist artistic bone in their in their bodies, they would have one thousand percent done this. This was a brilliant idea. Hey, you girls look like you're enjoying yourselves. 
Did you pick out your outfits for tonight? Yep. Mom, do you really have to go to that showing tonight? <sighs> I don't want to. But... Do you really want to do it? We're supposed to, you know... Memorial. You can't memorial and work. That's, are you? Do you have to... Please, for us, because this is a family thing. Our cult is a family thing. But I gave my word to uncle, and he's expecting me to take care of it. I've got myself into this, and now I have to finish it. But this is the last time. Don't worry. Okay, so you're not going to be late, right? I won't oh, be late. Oh my god, shut the fuck up! You fucking wet the blanket piece of shit! Why do you keep nagging? You're getting everything you wanted, and he's still nagging. He's still- Oh my god, he's just- He's so annoying. He's so fucking annoying. Like, Oh, I swear to God. I swear to God. Like, he gets on my nerves. He's just so annoying. He's just so whiny and annoying. Mario will be there, and as soon as everything is set up, I can leave. Nothing will happen. Okay. I just want to make sure that this isn't going to be a problem. Shut up! It won't be. Shut up! Mom, promise me you'll be at the memorial. It's very I important promise. for me that you're in my cult. Okay. I have to leave now, or I'll be late. I'll see you there. Yeah, I'll see you there. Look at this. How would you say no to like, like, like selling these places? This is this is a nice place. I bet you would make a good buck by selling this place. You know, this is really cool. And then later says, well, let's get real though. When I was in, and I thought this warm up was, was good. Now I'm awake. It's so culty. It's unreal. That's why I wanted to watch this shit. Not because I watched this when I was, when I was in cult. I never watched this when I was in the cult. But because my, I, I have a friend I, I, who will remain unnamed. And, and she's visiting her, her family who is a believing Jehovah's Witness. My friend is, is, does not believe in Jehovah's Witness stuff anymore. But her parents do, and she's visiting her parents right now, and she's telling me how she would. She asked me if I had to watch this because she had watched this and she had found it very like edifying and like spiritual and nice. But now she's like, "What the fuck kind of telenovela is this shit? Like this is so cringe and horrible." So I was like, "Yeah, you know what? I haven't watched it on stream actually." I. I bet it's it, if it's cringe, it's probably like good, good because I I know this drama. It's just I've never seen it the whole way through, so so that's why I, I was watching it. But because yes, when you're a Jehovah's Witness, you're full with this toxic positivity and think, into thinking that this is this is really good. It's funny even. Where no one's supposed it, it, they are nice, but it looks like no one lived there. It's made it takes me out of the universe. It, I don't think anyone's supposed to live here yet. Like, it's she selling this, is this Gloria. place. Where are you? I'm at the showing now. You know, I'm counting on you to be here. Just just call me back right away, okay? Excuse me, I need approval on what time to serve the hors d'oeuvres. I mean, as soon as guests are arriving, you know, check with Marty when he gets here. He's supposed to be handling all of this. Oh. Why is she so, like, naggy and, like, angry and shit? Isn't she, like, spiritual now? Isn't she supposed to be, like, all nice? Wasn't that why Joe uh, got into the cult? Because you won't, like, snap like this if, 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 if there's, like, anything that goes out of your way like you won't snap at people who like don't deserve it isn't that isn't that what why joe got in and, is, and, is, and isn't that why joe like tried to uh, what he used to like try to get like the first door that he knocked in like indoctrinated come on and make sure wine is open now so he can breathe okay like th that's how you see that jehovah's witnesses are actually like they're they're actually just like this you know they they just pretend to be nice but they're actually just like this like because otherwise they would have written her like acting like a human being like a nice human being and not like this this asshole even though she's supposed to be spiritual now she's being an asshole because these aren't even jehovah's witnesses it, it, she's leaving this job anyway they, they won't even remember it doesn't matter people are starting to arrive surely you want me to serve something 
serve something now then go ahead and figure something out although she is a woman and so of course she's she's not Hello, sir. where's the true. list of property details yes i can get one for you sir can i ask you who's the agent you're working with uh, yes i'm working with marty where is he marty yes he's on his way sir he'll be here very soon in the meantime would you like to have something to drink sure come this way please Girls, you look nice. Thanks, Dad. Is Mom on her way to the hall? You know what? Let me check. Uh... Girls, you look nice. No cleavage. Absolutely zero cleavage. Shoulders covered. Knees covered. Really not like a whore at all. I'm very proud of you. Um, let me send her a quick text. I mean, think about it. Privacy, outdoor living. Where can you get it in the city, right? Mm, it's true. Excuse me, I have to talk to other clients as well. Okay, excuse me. Thank you. How's it going, everyone? Are you guys doing okay? Oh, yes, good. When is Marty going to be here? He was supposed to show me some other offerings in this building. Yes, Marty will be here very soon, sir. Um, would you care for another glass of wine? I can't stay long. I have another important meeting tonight. <laughs> I can't stay long. I. I have a very important me I'm a very important businessman and I got this very important thing about a memorial from a, 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 a small American cult and I, I cannot miss this I it's a very boring speech It's almost gonna be like a, a, an hour I'm gonna sit there and then I'm gonna smell the wine as they pass it I can't admit this is very important to me did she text back so when are they going to show the scene no, with Lara and his daughters? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Every time that he's like, hey, you look nice. I'm like, wait, are they doing this for real? Because, because I mean, he is alone and the mother isn't around. So as we know, in the original story of Lot, when the mother like looked, looked behind and then like became salt, Lot, like th they were on the way to like um, uh, a, a town and they stopped by in a, in a, in a cave. And the, the daughters were way, like way too horny for, for children and, and didn't want to wait until uh, they got to like outside of the cave and into a city. So they just got her, the, their father drunk to get their seed, you know, naturally placed in them by their father. So when is that going to happen? Like our, so far, like we've seen some winks like the dad is like, oh, you look you look nice. You look sexy, daughters. So I've seen some winks. But like, how explicit are we gonna get here? Nothing yet. Is the Bible? Are you are, are 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 you gonna tell me that Jehovah's Witnesses dilute the Bible message, or, or like, do they only show like the violent bits and and not like the sexy bits? What what the hell's wrong with this? Then why don't you just call her? She probably didn't see your text, or she could be on her way to the hall already. Yeah, that's a good point. Let me just give her a quick call. And also, how controlling is this fucking asshole? The the he his the wife told you your wife told you hey I'll be there. Why is he calling? Why is wh why wh why is he like where are you? Are you gonna be there or whatever? She's an adult, right? Like she she can she can handle on her own. Like you don't have to pick her up, right? Like you're not waiting on her, right? Like she told you like she'd be there. She'd be there. Leave her the leave, leave her alone. Give her a fucking break. Hello. Hey. The memorial's gonna start in less than an hour. Did you leave yet? I can't leave yet. What? I thought you made arrangements so that you could leave whenever you want. I know, I know. Marty said he's going to be here, but I can't reach him now. Gloria, what are you gonna do? I'll figure something out. I gotta go. Okay. See how, wow. Dad. You are super helpful over there. Like what? Oh my God, what are you gonna do? Super helpful there. Like, wow. How, how, could, how could even, how could she be without your, your headship? Where is mom? She is coming, right? She promised. Yeah, she, she said promised. she'll be there. Yeah, I know, girls. Marty's I fixed my hair for it. He's not there yet. I don't know what your mom's going to do. What Sarah Naylor is, is saying is true. It Yes, it reflects on him. If she doesn't go, it means he's lost control. That's true. And he may be like an elder or like a he may have some privileges. And she doesn't go. His spirituality is gonna is gonna put into question, and he may end up losing those privileges. So yeah, that that is true. That is why he's be, he's being controlling. That doesn't mean men should be controlling them. Which is not I, I not that I, I think that's what you were saying. The memorial. I promise. Remember the 
<laughs> this is time to like fully force in like the, the wife of Lord narrative. The wife of Lord was also selling real estate and couldn't make it to the memorial, which is why she became solved. Like that's th this happened before. Don't let that don't let this be your death line. Remember the wife of Lord. Remember. I feel like they just wanted to have like some fun with like a makeup tutorial that they found, you know, like, I don't know. I, I, I saw that some people were like, oh, you know, this is bad for children. I think it's bad for like everybody, but like not because it's, it's scary. Are you okay? Marty, finally you're here. Where were you? Do you know how many times did I call you? I'm so sorry, Gloria. My the fuck? She's just snapping. All these witnesses didn't do it. What's what's what, what would Joe say? Joe would just straight up wake up. I feel if if he saw Gloria just like snap at him when she's supposed to be spiritual, like right? Like th that's the whole reason why Joe joined. Joe and well, he became a Joe Hovey's witness. The phone died on the way over here, and the traffic is just terrible. Well, look, I've got everything set up. Make sure you take care of everybody, okay? And do not forget the least details. And before I go, I have to introduce you to really important brokers. Let's go. Let's go. Hurry. What an asshole. Why, why is she an asshole? How are you all? Welcome. Come on in. I thought you were supposed to be nice as a Jehovah's Witness. You should... Why are you grabbing the... Grabbing from the stem. What? I mean, they're not they're not going to drink the wine, I guess, anyway. But, like, don't grab it like that. Grab it by the stem, especially if you're serving it. Like, you're just going to warm it up. Gloria! Uncle! Where are you going? Oh, Uncle, I, I didn't know you were coming tonight. You didn't think I would give you such an important building to sell and not check in on you? Uncle, we have really important religious observance tonight. I did everything you asked me to do for the showing, but I have to leave now. That's nonsense. You stayed right here and care for the investors. But, Uncle, I did everything for you. Will you disgrace Why? Why? Again, like she has, she seems to have like a fuck ton of freedom. She didn't even have to like resign to her pioneering, right? Because she has a lot of freedom, but she, she had, she doesn't have the freedom to go to a, a religious observance at the nighttime. Who the fuck buys a building at like 8 p.m.? I understand. Like this is just so contrived. That is just, it's just so stupid. It's, it, it's so contrived because it's made by people who just don't live in the real world. They live in Bethlehem. They live me in a here cult compound. In front of everyone? You have my respect, Uncle. But, I... but what? There is no discussion. Remember who it is you're speaking to. I have to go, Uncle. This is most important to me. Jehovah is most important to me. Please understand. If you leave now, you will lose everything. No, I decided that this, you have to decide between your religion and this job it, it, for climatic purposes, even though you, you literally like don't need to be here. And you've done everything. And you decide for, for once be, for, because it, it's the end of the drama, I hear. We invite all to please find their seats. Our program will begin in just a few minutes. You a Welcome little bit though. to the observance of the memorial of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. To begin our program tonight, we ask all to please stand. I love how, how you know, this is like the triumphant, but then it, the, in the background, you just hear, 
to begin our program tonight, we will start by singing a uh, kingdom melody, melody number 78, which if you could all please, like it's just the most boring thing you have ever seen, but it's like triumphant because, you know, she made it to this boring thing. Yay! We'll be singing song number 147 entitled A Special Possession. That night changed me forever. I came so close to letting my relationship with Jehovah slip through my fingers. I almost ended up like a woman in the Bible I would never want to imitate. Thankfully, I was able to change in time because I remembered the wife of Lot. Wow, this is terrible. Like, even the ending is just like, Anyway, the ending is just uh, we pan outside of the kingdom hall and then look at uh, look look at the moon, because because you know mo movies sometimes do that, so you, why not? <laughs> anyway, this was a great watch. I did not think that there were three parts. I thought there were just two parts. I don't know why I thought there were two parts. I just. So I did not think that we were going to go for three hours. I thought we were just going to go for two hours. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. I have a few things to do today, including editing my next video that's going to be focusing on the many gods that are mentioned in the Old Testament. Uh, so subscribe if you if you want to see that. We can say that that was cultastic. That is that is another that is another ex Jehovah's Witness uh, with way more experience. Uh, that than us. Yeah, we may we may even adopt a cat. We we don't know. We but but yeah, you know. And I feel, you know, our cat uh, passed away like almost two years ago, and I feel like uh, we've we've already like mourned too much, and maybe we are we we may be ready. Uh, so yeah, don't forget to pass the salt, and don't forget to not become a real estate agent because then your husband will fuck your daughters. <laughs>